Now, white, white lights. lights. Three white lights means that every rift or every ref approved of the lift, meaning that's an A-OK -okay lift. Two lights means it's still a good lift, but maybe you give one of the refs you know, a weird look before it. Maybe they're like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, especially in the squat, right? There's going to be two judges on each side looking for depth, what we call depth. So your hip crease has to be lower than your knee. So if one of the... Judges give reds on one side, that means that maybe they're just a little high on that one side, but we'll definitely see, and you'll definitely see an example of that today. Hopefully everyone gets their lifts, because I'm just like here for the lifters, but um, some things do happen in the meeting day, but hopefully like, everyone has a good day. Yeah, I'm a sucker for a good night for nine, meeting with all their lifts. Yeah. Something that we don't want to see is three red lights, that means you didn't get to move with yeah. Which is okay, it happens to everybody, I mean it happens to me. Always on bench. We don't talk about the bench. Yeah, I have to. I have to say, like squat is definitely like my most mental lifting because, like, the first time I ever competed, like, I basically bombed out on my squats um, because I said I wasn't deep enough. So ever since then, like, I'm getting deep. Like people are like, "Dan, you're kissing the floor." I'm like, I ain't getting no reds no more. Well, yeah, you learn. You learn from experience. What do you got? Four eighteen on your back nowadays? Yeah. That's a crazy number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hoping to bump that thing right up. You know? We got time. We definitely do. And here we go. We got our first lifter of the day, Sophia, in here. She is squatting 70 kgs for her first attempt as an opener. Let's see what Sophia has to offer to open up the day. Here we go. And the war games start here. Here they are. Nice, calm, cool, collected. Easy, please. Absolutely sunk that squat. Beautiful. Let's see some light. What do we got here? They're changing it so fast. I can't even. We're just waiting on the lights from the judges. Three white lights. And there is no question of that. No. Perfect depth. There is no question she is not going to miss out on depth oh, in those yeah. And the lift is good. Two to one. Go. What a start to our yeah. day. We're now going to Nicole, attempting 87.5 kilos, right, 192 Let's pounds. Do what you do. We have Nicole Santa Monica in with the 87.5 kg opener. You can see over there, Calm, Form, Collecting with their coach. Love that purple A7 uh, singlet. Nice little pop and player to that. Her coach is Dre. He works out of the war room. Monocle. What a venue. Mm -hmm. 192 pounds on that bar. Let's go. Opener moves exactly how you want it to. It's quicker than three lights you're ever going to see in this sport. We now go to 203 pounds for Catherine. Lifting out of Health Quest HQ. Next up, we have Catherine coming to the platform. Lifting a 30, 92.5 kgs in her opener. Mm -hmm. we love this. We got to see some big weights moving out of Catherine today. Once again, she's so. Calm and mellow tone back there. Oh, yeah. She's ready. Locked in. What do you like back there before him? Uh, and the bar is loaded like for Catherine. Tiny, like, bubbly person. And then, you know, I just... Our first 200 I just feel like, plus I feel like squat I have to get myself the liked up, but then, like, when I'm about, right about to go... When I'm right about to go, like, I'm, like, totally focused. You know what I mean? Absolutely. All right, Catherine. The unrack looks perfect. Walk out. 203 pounds. Nice. That looks beautiful. Very smooth for Catherine. RPE the judges say the lift is good. good. We're now going to a state record attempt for Ashley. Ashley will be attempting 231 pounds. And for wow. an opener for Ashley, a state record attempt of 231 pounds. 131 pounds. 
If so, you're setting state records on your opener, I want to see what she's going to be lifting later on in this. Yeah. Oh, she just keeps breaking them, raising that bar higher and higher and higher. And the bar is loaded for Ashley. State record attempt on her opener. Here comes our first record attempt of the day. She's all SBD'd out. Look at that. Smiling under that bar, God, I'd love to see it. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Oh, RPE error. <laughs> that move well, but unfortunately, oh, Ashley got two red, red lights for that is beating red, the so rack. It is no good lift. Maybe she might have missed one commands or a little bit of death. Maybe a little bit of both. She has to be pounds. But she shouldn't really be worried about that. Just go back, talk to Coach Levick, because that move does as easy as she probably yeah, wanted it to. Yeah, so easily. She's going to get it. Absolutely. Now we have Brianna Schmidt coming in for 115 kg. Two, five, three. And, and the bar is Lifter. loaded for Bree. In Vegas last year, amazing lifter. Let's go, Bree. Very fast for Bree, and the lift is good! Three white lights. Next up is my girl, Christina. We will now go to 275 pounds for Christina. I'm just so excited to see her come back to the platform. In fragrance? Yes, she does work in fragrance with me. Here we go, we got some fragrance action going on. Uh huh. She's gonna kill it. 275.58 pounds. I'm telling you, this girl's gonna squat over 300 today. I'm, I'm pulling, I'm saying maybe over 315. I'm just saying, like, this girl is strong. Yeah, that's unbelievable number. And the bar is loaded for Christina. Christina. Go! Let's see what her and her bedazzled belt have to offer her. Mm -hmm. Pioneer. Stylish. <laughs> Easy. Now that's an opener, ladies and gentlemen. Lift is good. I expect nothing less. We'll keep the bar on this, the weight on the bar the same for Kelly, 275 pounds. Here comes Kelly here with the 125 kg opener. Ooh, 275.58 pounds on the bar for her. And the bar is loaded for Kelly. Huh? Here go with these numbers. I can see it. <laughs> oh, you're a I just have really good eyesight, you know? Absolutely locked in here. Nice, easy walk out. A deep brace and the descent. Wonderful. Moved fast. Very the fast for Kelly. And the lift is good. Something I love about that lift is we will now bring the weight to 314 pounds. Yeah, her mobility is crazy. Forever. That close. 142 Ooh, point five kilos for a state record attempt. Here comes Heather. Are you fellow gym rats out there? This is a 314 point 16 pounds, I think. Oh, in my books, that's three plates right there. Yeah, that basically is. And the bar is loaded for Heather. Let's go, Heather. State record attempt on her opener. Yeah. Come on. This is all you. Yeah. And absolutely oh. smoked it. Very smooth for Heather. Yeah. And the lift is good. That is locked in state record attempt. We now go to 162.5 kilos, 358 pounds for Ariel. <laughs> Great job, Heather. Oh, Ariel. So Ariel is known for her looks, her spicy experience. looks. I think she has a look for every lift, so let's definitely see what she's out to today. Well, I see some bedazzled. Mm -hmm. And the bar is loaded for Ariel. 
Oh, Ariel has a lot of experience in this sport. Oh, yeah, she has. The national biggest opener of flight A. 162.5 kgs. 358.25 pounds. 360 pounds on her back right now. And she wishes us all from the sun rack. And that's a good lift if I've ever seen wow. it. amazing lift. Blue white light from the this good. The belt has bend and snap. Let's go. And back to the top of the order we go with Sophia. Attempting 80 kilos, 178 pounds. Two. It's second attempt, huh? And we're still making some pretty good jumps. Deck. We have a 10 kg jump here to 80 kgs for Sophia. Okay. Never asked, do you have any state records on your belt? <laughs> All of them. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> I'm sure that follows with a few national records. I did at a time, and then they literally got taken away like the month The later. bar is yeah, loaded for Sophia. Good feeling, huh? Oh, it was amazing. Sophia absolutely smoked her first lift. Let's see what she has in the second one. Bring the Jim Reaper knee sleeves. Let's go. Here you go. A little sticky in the mid, but Very she definitely had. Oh. The lift is no good. See your judges. No good. I would like to know what the judges saw in that one. Maybe it was that she jumped a command. She Not jumped sure the rack command. Prepared, she wrapped the bar too early. Rack command. Yeah. We now go to Nicole, attempting 97.5 uh, kilos, 214 You get the whole entire lift done. Good steps, good brace, everything you fall through a lift. But you do just gotta wait for it. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely like a mental thing too, like, like a mess with you, right? Like when you get three reds, you like, it's like do or die. Like I feel like it's a fight or flight response and you know you want to get your and neck. The bar is the loaded is, for she's Nicole. Be too scared because she did do that lift. She has to hone in on those rack commands at the end of her next yeah, lift. Yeah, just listen a little harder. Here's Nicole with 97.5 kgs. 214.95 pounds, so 215 on the bar. Come on, Nicole. Again, I love her. I also think she's a referee, but in the in w, WRPF, but um, just her composure when she's lifting, like. Look at the depth on that squad. Three white points. Well deserved. She is heading into her third attempt. We need two more two. Here's Catherine here with her second attempt. 102.5 kgs. They're under servicing here because it's 225 for like 97. Oh, it's 26. <laughs> Give her the bound. Yeah. That's the thing with kilos to pounds. Like I trade in pounds, so when it comes to kilos, it's a little, it's a little weird um, because of the jumps. But I could get like a point nine seven, like PR. I guess I don't. It's nice. Yeah. You don't gotta add the two point five pounds. Let's go, Catherine. Uh, that looks kind of easy. easy. Oh, she's got to put some weight on that bar. Light, light. Let's go, Catherine. I expect a nice big jump out of her in the next attempt. Yeah, that was so easy. Ashley making a 5 kg jump. This would be breaking her own state record. Mm. She did go reds on the last one, but... I'm sure that she's gonna fix that here and actually smoke this way. Then. I know she probably knows what she has to do. Dial it back in, get that depth, listen to the commands. Like now she just has to bring it home. Look at that, she's back smiling. She looks excited in that bar. She knows she can smoke this. Let's go, Ashley. Come on, you got it. Three whites, that is a state record. Let's go, Ashley. And she's going to put some massive weight in that bar. I hope we're a big jump. Here comes a state record attempt from Brianna. We have 122.5 weight on this bar. Let's go, Brie. Lock in right here. And the bar is 
Let's go. One of your besties right here. Ready to hear a good cheer on. I love her. Come on, Bray, bring it home. What? Hey, that looks like a nail to me. Let's go. A big hug over there to one of the one of the waivers. I believe they're all part of Paradigm Powerlifting, so they're teammates up there with that little hug. There you go. Let's go, Christina. Coming to the bar again. 297.62 pounds. She's definitely going over 300 today, and I would expect nothing less. Absolutely. I mean, she's going to smoke this. What do you think, an RP7 here? Let's go, Christina. Only one way to find out. Yep. Let's watch Christina hit this lift. She's going to make this look so easy. Let's go, Christina. Grace. Let's go. It looks like butter. I think I overshot with the 7 RP. Look at the 5. All I'm saying is that girl better be put in like three plates or more on that bar because it's hers. Absolutely. Here we got Kelly with the same exact weight. Good thing for the bar loaders, don't gotta do that much more. I know, yeah. Shout out to the bar loaders. My good friend. Spotters Mac and over loaders there. to keep us all safe. Um, if you haven't spotted or loaded, I recommend it just to like give back to the sport. It's like a good thing. You get to be here for the lifters and support them, but then you also support WRPF. Absolutely. Here's Kelly's second squad attempt. Come on, Kelly. Up, 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 up. And she works nice. it to a sticking point. Let's see what the judges say. Good goal oh, right there. Is that is a good plan. Yeah, something about just kind of being back here, back the whole time. It's awesome, like, officially being a part of this game. And, you know, because some people I meet, they stick around, like, we got Miles Scott, Matt Poppy here loading the bar. He's a good friend I met in my past two meets. He, like, his deadlift setup is legit. <laughs> Everything he does is legit. He is a stone cold killer on that platform with unbelievable numbers. Yeah. 500 deadlift. That's what I want. <laughs> Absolutely. You're right there. Here comes Heather. Heather's going to be lifting 152.5 kgs. On and it's a state attack. record attack. And the bar is on for Heather. 336 pounds for a state record. Let's go, Heather. Heather. She's like a ball of sunshine. I just want to, like, pinch her cheeks or something. She's going to get this, for sure. Come on, Heather. We're pulling for you here. The descent looks good. Push, push, push. Push up. There we go. Do the judges say three walkies. Records that strong females. Let's go. What a start to this meet! Oh, yeah, so many records already. So many records have fallen, and knowing People just like beating their own records at this point. Like, I love it. And just knowing coming from my first meet, making records, it's such a great feeling. I'm so happy these lifters get to feel that, especially the newbies into this sport. Yeah. I believe I talked to one person in the bathroom that she said it was her first meet. I forget her name, but I hope she's having a good day. I hope so, too. I hope Ariel's going to have a good day, too. 172.5 kgs on oh, her Oh, that is 380 pounds. A big, that heavy, second sick. attempt. Let's go, Ariel. Unbelievable numbers. One of the drippiest... Uh, Outfits I've seen on this platform. I love the sparkle, sparkly, sparkly snake. It's got Metallic. flair. Yeah. Her squat also is gonna have flair right here. Let's see what mm -hmm. she can do with 380 pounds on her back. Ten. Nice. And she smokes it. And a good look. I feel like Ariel is so close to 400 pounds on the platform. Like, it's so close. 
And something that kind of tells me that she can do it. It's even that heavy attempt where there may have been a little bit of a grind. She kept her chest high. Oh, yeah. Not pushing out her glutes at all. Perfect swing. Here comes our third attempt. Where we see people setting all-time PRs, more state records, and having maybe their best lifts of their lives right here. Yeah, this Sophie's up from 80 kilos for the last attempt, 7.5 kilos, so she's at 87.5. Let's see if she can get this one. Let's see how it moves. She did not complete the second lift, but it wasn't due to any sort of struggle. Yeah, I think it was a technical error, so let's see if she dials it in here. Let's go, Sophia. The first, third attempt of the evening. The morning, I should say. <laughs> Get up! She smoked it! Let's hear the judges say. Yeah, let's bring it back. And that's a teen, 89 year old. Wow, I can't believe that. I just love how, like, the younger, the younger kids are, like, dominating the sport right now. Congrats to the junior on a big third attempt squatting. Starting off on a nice day. Here's Nicole lifting 100 kg. State record attempt. This is not the new for Nicole right here. She is ready, locked in for her third attempt. She has her coach over there rooting for her, Ray. Ray looks like a nice guy, I wanna shake his hand. Oh yeah. Comes Nicole's state record attempt on, on her third deadlift. Can she go three for three on the squat? I think she's gonna get this. I think she's gonna smoke. She's a good fighter. That's a state record attempt. And a completed lift for Nicole. Here's Ashley, who already beat her own state record. Can she do it again with 115 kgs? 254 pounds on this bar right now. Let's go, Ashley. Bring her home. See what she can do here. Nice walkout. Good brace. It's a master lifter. Uh -huh. Good job, fighters and loaders, for catching that. And what an effort here. And you really can't hang your head too low because she did come out here with a state record. She did. A great effort by Ashley. I hope she gets ready, prepared for bed for some big numbers. Yeah. Here's Catherine, also with a state record attempt of 115 kgs. 254 pounds, and wow, a lot of state records today. A lot of big time lifters today. There it is. And it's even better because she gets a lift on this drop, on this boot drop right here. Head bobber. Let's go, Catherine. Catherine sets into her stance, gets the command. Get it centric, get the set play. Gets it up. Nice. Let's see if the judges give her. Three blocks. Let's go. Another state record. What a start to this meet! Here goes Brianna. Another state record attempt. 127.5 kgs. All in. All in. Yeah. Getting some chalk on her hands over there. That's what Brie has to offer on her third squat attempt. Can she get the three for three mark? I think she can. I believe in her. Let's go, Brie. Uh, uh, Brie! Fight, Brie! Let's go. Oh. 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 
is good. It's unbelievable grind and live for free. I love that for her. Oh, Christina, this is my baby girl. Let's go! 314.6 pounds. We are going to sit down for this. I don't think we're going to be able to sit down for this. Stand up! Let's go, Christina! <laughs> and I just know this weight is going to absolutely fly. She is going to make it like skyrocket. Like. Let's go, Christina. Anybody who's familiar with weight plates, this is the 315 mark, three plates. Mm -hmm. Huge milestone to look this career. And we're going to watch Christina smash this. That is my girl. Absolutely smoked. I think she had another K20 changes on that. I mean, she did get one red, so maybe a little bit of depth on one side for one of the judges, or but she smoked that. I knew she had that. Here's Kelly with 142.5 kgs, the same exact weight. Interesting, Kelly and Christina have mirrored the same exact weight for all three squats. I think they're like just like going pound for pound here. They're locked in. Let's go, Kelly. The three for three mark awaits with this squat. I feel like we had a lot of three for three so far, which is really great. Good job, good job, voters. Looks like she went a little fast into the Yeah, a fast descent, maybe lost a little bit of attention. But you know what? She came out with a great day, two great numbers, and she's gonna have a nice bench day. Here comes a state record attempt out of Heather. We have 157.5 kgs on this barbell. 347 pounds. Wow. That's nothing to joke around with. No. What I know from physics class, the gravity force, the Newtons on that back, that's a lot. But if I know anything about Heather, she doesn't care about anything about gravity. She's just going to pick this up and put it down. Off. She's playing in Minecraft creative mode here. Let's go, Heather. And no good. Two red lights. A little depth on the sides. Oh, here comes Ariel. She definitely thrives in just like the hard. Like, I feel like she thrives in when it's hard for her. Like she's one of those lifters that can like grind it right now, and I love that about her. That's what I heard Paradigm Powerlifting's all about, right? Let's see this. 396 pounds on this bar. A state record attempt for Ariel. Oh, Ariel. The biggest squat of the day so far. That's three reds on this barbell. Let's get it, Ariel. Let's go, I told you she has about 400 pounds on her. Unbelievable. She's going to dominate. A steady walkout. Ariel, stay tuned. Ariel has on this state record attempt. And the judges say, And the lift is no good. They both really good attempt though she definitely has it next time wow here comes flight b the first time clutch of the men what a great job from everybody from flight a bunch of great efforts a bunch of state records there we will start 
be with the yeah. 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 Olympic 90 kilos, 198 pounds. The first lifter for Flight B is Nathaniel, who's going to be starting with 90 kg, otherwise known as 198 kgs. This is unbelievable. He is a junior in the 13 through 15 category. Anybody with that age lifting this soon has a super bright young future in this federation and in this sport as a whole. I'd like to take a moment to thank everybody who's allowed me to be here. George, Pops, everybody else here, all of our spotters, loaders. My girl Chrissy on the other side of the table. My girl, I get to see her every day at the gym. Aww. Also, just the type of stuff you have around. Ghost energy drinks. And I'd like to make a special shout out to our Skull Smash Ammonia provider today, Skull Smash. I've been working with Skull Smash since my senior year of high school. Steve with Skull Smash is awesome. But here comes Nathaniel, the junior, 13, 15. I just want to get it so bad. He's so cute. Unbelievable. 198 pounds. 13 to 15. With a bright young man. Wow. Let's see what he has to offer in his first Come attempt. Come on, Nathaniel. All right, up, up. I'm going to smoke it. I just love young lifters. I just love to see them doing something outside that, like, I feel like not a lot of kids are doing, you know? Just turning a new page in their careers and in the sport. Speaking of young lifters, we got another junior, 16, 17, Shivam. Shivam Patel, let's go. 100 kgs on this bar, 220 pounds. He'll be coming around shortly. Here he is in the inner singlet, just like me. Yeah. I love it. So there's a minute on the clock for these lifters to come out when the bar is loaded to compete this lift. So we have 35 seconds left for Shivam. So let's see it, Shivam. Something I like to add, if you need extra time, all you have to do is unrack that bar and put it right back down and the clock will be set for you. So the guy, he's got the drippy chain outside. Love that. This kid's got style, he's got player. Let's see if he's on a squat. Uh, ooh, that was easy. This is doing that without hair. knee sleeves. Is wow. That's a sleeveless squat. Oh. That's unbelievable. My joints don't allow that no more. <laughs> what happened in your old? I'm not sure what my body allows me to do at the age of 20 anymore. Oh. What a squat. Now we have Robert. Rob with 110 kgs on this bar. And the team comes out of here. Robert's from New York, he was telling me before. Let's go, Rob. Let's see if he's I think got he's that at New York Middletown, grit. New York, so it's like an hour and a half drive for him. Let's see if he's got that New Yorker grit in him. It's going to be a re rack here. They're looking for a lockout in the knees. Yeah. Man. Takes it easy. Good and job, Rob. Have you ever found yourself picking an opener that was just too heavy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, I feel like, some, like you have to, I feel like an opener should be something that you move maybe like for like two reps or three reps. It's like the same range yeah. easily. I almost think of it as an extension to my warm up. Exactly. Of course, I've had my hiccups, especially in the bench category. But it's always nice to be conservative. Put up two good squats, two good deadlifts, two good benches, and then go for that big number out. Oh, yeah, 100%. Here's Noah, a nice big jump of 142.5 kgs. Junior, 2023. Let's go, nice 315 squat. Let's see it. 
Another knee, knee on the spot right there. And that was just there. No easy. Uh, he missed that one for depth, I believe. That was on there. But there is absolutely hope for this cake. That was smoke. Oh, yeah. Without knee sleeps again. Yeah. Here comes Matt with 150 kgs on the spar. An age jump here. We got a master 40 44. Ooh, I love that. Two totally different age gaps here, and I'd love to see that in this sport. That's something of powerlifting you don't get to, get to see a lot in other sports. This age gap during competitions. Yeah, literally, like people as young as like 10 to people as old as like the 70s. I've actually lifted with a 70 year old lifter, and it was one of the most amazing times of my life. Something was really cool. My last meet, there was a kid who was 13 years old and benched 242 pounds. That's ridiculous. Squat. Nice. nice wide stance, Ooh. good depth, and that is going to be a, good lift. a that perfect is an amazing lift. Yeah. Good job, at Matthew. Here's Brian Hannon. First of all, I actually lifted with Brian here at the Adelante meet back in October. He was actually a huge help for me when it came to deadlift and picking my numbers. Huh? A mentor, if you will. I haven't seen him. So I haven't seen him since. Seems like he's doing pretty good with this type of number on his back. 150 Three, kgs. 331 on the bar. Let's go, Brian. Down and ooh, beautiful. Let's see what the judges say. Uh, a little bit of depth. Did not squat deep enough. Once again, with the WRPF, we are looking for that hip crease below our knees. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's pretty deep, but you know, if you can match that, you're never getting help for depth ever. Yeah, I think it's like one of the one of the more mental scarring things when you don't reach depth. Like you just like, I guess, start overthinking at that point. So it's definitely a mental game. One thing you don't want to see is them squatting too deep and losing tension. Though. Exactly. You got to find the happy medium, and I'm sure Jeff Graham will. Find that balance. Jeff with 170 kgs on his back, a humongous lift here. Three and 75 pounds. Let's go. Big opener. <laughs> Let's go. Cold, cold, like Lightweight. It. Super nonchalant. And there we saw the hip crease below the knees. That'd be a perfect squat. He was like so calm, I feel like. Look at this. Sammy with a big opener coming up. Sorry, Jared. With 175. Sammy up next. Jared with 185 pounds. Look at that. Ooh, I know. love that hair. You know, my hair kind of mirrored that at the beginning of my career. Really? Way down. Love it. Represent long curly hair gang. Here's Jared. Nice controlled lifter. Look at that. Can you see? Oh, wow. That was snappy. Let's see if we got it. Ah, oh, depth. Another depth call. He knows what to do. Just come back and execute. My gosh. Sammy starting with a state record attempt. A 237. 507. Sammy with the headband once again, just like me. You've got a lot of This is a big guy right here. He's lifting in open category. So is this this is 500, right? 507. So that's a five person. Uh, that's a five person spot. So anything over 500 pounds, you need five people on the platform to help carry the lift just in case he fails. Yeah, I don't know about just for you. safety. I don't know about the side spider might get curled 500 pounds up. Uh, that's why there's five. But we know Sammy is not going to fail this. He's going to absolutely smoke it. Oh, he is fired up. He's got explosion. Look at those quads. Let's go, Sammy. I can't wait to see what he does. It's gonna be insane. To. Let's go, Sammy, with the state record attempt on the opener. Wow. That was a good. 
for the 82.5 kg lifter. Oh, I can't wait to see what he gets. Something you have to notice is that whenever you set a state record attempt, you are going to get your gear checked. Make sure everything's up to standard. Cheating and powerlifting is a no-no. No. No, no I watched We don't do that around here. I watched a video of a guy having knee sleeves and knee wraps on. He got caught right away. Why? Why would you do that? Here comes the Daniel with the second attempt. We are on to the second squats of the day for Group B. The 13 to 15 year old Nathan with 220 on the bar. I'm going to make sure after this flight to find out how old he is so I can definitely let you guys know. Yeah, it's unbelievable crazy. how young he is on this platform. The crazy thing to think about is he could be in middle school right now. <laughs> There's a possibility of that. That's unbelievable. What was I doing in middle school? Oh, man. Freshman year of high school. I hope not getting in trouble. No, I was a good kid. Oh, okay, good. I looked like hopscotch. <laughs> We're outside. Here we go, wow. Nathan. The youngest lifter of today's meet, they were saying up there. 148 pounds. Go, Nate. 100 kgs. Let's see how he looks with this. Push, push. Oh, Daniel. Oh, God, that's a nice lift. Good Something I love about him. Usually, especially younger kids are antsy. They want to get in there. They may rush him. He is slow and controlled on that bar. He yeah. takes his time, really makes sure he's settled, sets his proper brace, and completes a great lift with amazing depth. He has such amazing composure. Like, you just see him, like, visualizing what he has to do. And, like, he's not, like, too jumpy. Like, he literally just gets up there and does it. You know he's a kid who doesn't really let the moment phase him. He's able to slow everything down in his mind and just let all of his practice and prep go into that spot. Yep. Let's go Shivam. Shivam with 110 kgs, a 10 kg jump from his opener. 242.51 pounds. Let's go, Shiva. Another junior. Once again, you'd love to see it. And he is not wearing knee sleeves. This is as raw as you're going to get. Raw. Here we go. Got a Dunder Mifflin shirt under there. A Hoppus fan. Okay. Let's go, Shiva. Great squat. Wow. No knee sleeves required for Shiva. The lift is good. Shiva's got to put some weight on this bar. I want to see a humongous. We now go to 170.5 kilos, 259 pounds for Robert. No sleeves in the squat. I used to compete with no sleeves, and then uh, his knees get a little creaky, you know what I mean? So. I got my first pair of pants with knee sleeves halfway through my first prep, and it was a game changer. Oh, yeah, they were. So props and the bar Ooh, is loaded for Roberts. Yeah. Here's Roberts. He's 117.5 kg. Let's go, Rob. Up, up, up. Nice. I don't know if we're questioning depth on that. Look, he went pretty deep to me. We now go to 150 kilos, 330 pounds for Ryan. An absolute savage on the platform, Brian Hannon. He did get reds on his first attempt, but he's back doing the same thing as the opener, and I know he's smoking it. Yeah, he's going to lock it in. He knows what he needs to do. He knows he has to get just a little bit deeper and just execute. Something about guys like Brian, they don't make the same mistake twice. No. And the bar is loaded for Brian. Let's go, Brian. Let's go, Brian. Let's go, Brian. Bring it home. Generally one of the best personalities I've ever met at any of these competitions. Aw, I love that. Up, up, up. Very smooth. That looks pretty good to me. Let's see what the judges say. Oh, he's got two white lights there. That's a good lift. In. He's ready to go. We now go to Matthew attempting 160 kilos. Here comes Matt. 160 kilos. Pounds. A big number for Matt. Mm -hmm. 
He jumped 10 kilos. We're to 52.7 pounds. The red fit, the red singlet. I love that. The knee sleeves and the red belt. Color coordination on fleet. Mm -hmm. So is this squat. Send. We now go to so, no. Yeah, love to see really allowed and why knee transition. He's been over his toes. Yeah, the last add up is doing a lot of work there. Oh yeah. Here comes Noah. Big get red on Kevin and is making a massive jump. 167.5 kgs. And the ball is loaded for Noah. 170 pounds. Let's go. No knee sleeves, no belt. Although he did miss a slip before, wow. he did absolutely smoke it. But he just said no knee sleeves, no belt. Like, can you imagine? Now, this is new, new. Up, up, up. Yeah. Let's see what the and judges have on this. Say, uh, no good again. Not deep enough, ladies and gentlemen. Not so Once again, call for death. We now go to Jeff, attempting 177.5 kilos, 391. It's unfortunate because of how fast that moved. Yeah. Got dial in. Once again, he put some more weight because he did smoke it. But sink that the squat order. a little bit more, and he's going to have himself a humongous number. Yeah. Maybe you should keep it around the same attempt just to make sure he stays in the comp, but. Here comes Jeff Graham, 177.5 kgs. A great first attempt on the floor. Something you're going to see is chalk and look at his back. That's to make sure that spot bar stays secure on their back and doesn't slip around. Yeah. See a bunch of different little strategies that power can use. Smoked it. Let's see what the judges have. Good legs. Quick. Quick. 380 pounds. A lot of these lifters are having a great day. Maybe even undershooting a little bit. Yeah. Here comes Jared here. He has 185 pages on this bar. And you just know he's going to smoke this one. He had technical failure on the last lift. Was it that? Oh, it's loaded for Jerry. So, so I'm hoping that he gets this one. 407 pounds. Let's go, Jared. Five kilos up from his last attempt. So let's see if he can lock it in. Race. Nice and deep, Jared. Let's go. Oh, he definitely sunk this one. Wow. And the judges say... The lift is good. Three there's no lines. question on depth there. And now we go to Sammy Moore, attempting 235 kilos, 518 pounds for a state record attempt. Wow. Let's go, Sammy Moore, with the state record attempt. 518 pounds. 235 kgs, an unbelievable attempt. And the ball is one of our Sammy. Over oh, Sammy. Over four reds on each side. The first time we're seeing this today. Wow. This is exactly three times body weight. That is three sick. times body weight. I don't think you guys can squat. hear that, but this is a three times body weight <laughs> squat right here. We go back to our five-man squatting crew. They do have to fix the weight because of how explosive he was on the yeah. initial unrack. He's got some flair. He's got a chip on his shoulder. I've never Just seen that right before. Time. I've never seen that either. He's very explosive in the way that he approaches the bar. And I don't even think the spotters and loaders were ready for that, you know? I love that, though. The attitude, the passion for this And now the bar is officially loaded for Sammy Moore. Here is a state record attempt for Sammy Moore. He still looks so composed. So come on, Sammy. Three times. Bodyweight squat, let's go. And he's got a little bit of bend in the squat bar. That's a lot. Oh, of yeah. Right Big brace. The descent looks good. Get up, Sammy. Up. Very smooth for Sammy. And the lift is it's good. Quite light for Sammy. That's amazing. Staying record. 
And here's the open we'll weight for the, the third for spot third attempt for Flight B. Here's Nathan the Jr. with 107.5 kgs. The spotters and loaders are stripping the bar right now to go right back to the top of the flight. I am so excited to see what this young kid has. To oh, yeah. I feel like when you're back there getting ready to come out again, like it goes back so fast. I'll tell you what, it's going so fast here, too. Yeah. I'm having a blast right now. We will be having a 15 minute break between squat and bench. So we're going to have a 15 minute break in between squat and bench. Squat and bench press. Oh, this this flight is like amazing. And we're only seeing the start of it right here. We are. Here we go. And the bar is on the Oh, we just opened it. Here is Nathan, the junior, 200.5 pounds. Did he just get in the front? Yeah, man, he's fired up. Let's get behind him, ladies and gentlemen. He's a little tight for this. Let's go, Nathan. Stay calm. All you cool, need, kid. come on. Take this time. Good descent. Get up, Emmanuel. Oh, what a Good great effort. Uh, so one of the things, great job spotters and loaders, but when you're lifting and you miss the lift, just stay with the bar, and the spotters and loaders will be there to help you back into the round. You know what, though? you got to give them a hand. I do, yeah. That you missed that was a good this stage. And one attempt, the depth was there. Very brave. I know for sure his next week he's going to smoke that, maybe even as an opener. And the bar is loaded for Shabum. Another Shibum. junior, Shabum, with 120 kgs on this bar. Big weight here, two reds. He looks dialed in, he looks focused, he looks ready. No, no she leaves. What a madman. See Shivam's family out there, ready for him to get this lift. Death, chest up. Good catch, Good catch, Good catch. Good Spotters and loaders, staying with Shiva. Good effort. Something I really like about it is if you watch the unreact, use a little bit of a rocking technique. So one, use a little bit of momentum and also get his hips, knees, and ankles stack. Yeah. But mechanically sound. Takes a lot of effort of the unreact and doesn't allow you to use too much energy doing that. Yeah. Like, Super smart. He was definitely taught well. You could definitely tell this, like, these, people, these lifters are in it to win it. Like, you see that big brace, you see them, like, give that, like, nice, easy unreact, back it up nice and easy, and then they get ready for the lift. Here's Robert Ortiz, 125 kgs on this bar, 275 pounds. Let's go, Rob. Let's get down, Let's get down to business. I think that's what Rob's about to do. A low score. Oh, 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 Robert. Oh, Robert. Robert. oh what a catch. Good, catch good effort. We will now go to 157 kilos, 347 pounds for Brian. Here's Brian now. Red's on his first attempt, and two white lights on his second. I'm hoping he has as much set as the referees are looking for today, because he is going to smoke his 157.5 kg squad. Yeah. I am sure of it. I'm so sure. That's 347.23 pounds. Honestly, just like the juniors, it's super impressive for me to see people at the Submaster and my celebrity staying in the sport, staying active, working out as hard as they can. Yeah. A thousand percent. On the contrary to common beliefs, squatting and deadlifting this heavy at this age with good form is actually great for your health, joints, and overall life. Yeah, because like if you think about it, when you're 70 years old, when you're getting off that couch, and then the basically a squat getting up, squat sitting down to on the toilet, like, you know. Well, he's definitely not 70. <laughs> he's still a young man ready to absolutely smoke this third attempt. But like I said, like we were talking about, lifting is for life. So let's go, Brian. Come on, Brian. 347 pounds. Big brace. Up, up, up. Get up, Brian! Fight for it, Brian! Oh, wow. Get up, Brian! And the judges say, I hope you got that. Let's go! Two to one!
Yes, sir, bro. That was an amazing right, grind. Have you ever no one wrapped your knees before? I actually did once, so fun story. I want to hear everyone get louder. Noah, our our meet for regionals. I took my MCL. Uh, so I ordered MC and me wraps, and I had to crawl with grabs thinking I was going to need it. I tried it once, and it's just a completely different form. It is. It's a different squat, and I just wasn't used to it. I used to be a wrap lifter myself. So wrapping, depending on how tight your coach does it for you or whoever's wrapping you, makes all the difference. It can make your squat literally skyrocket, but it's a little bit harder to get into the hole. Yeah. Well, speaking of a grip lifting, on the exact opposite spectrum, and Noah is coming is in first third attempt Let's get with no him, belt, no knee sleeves, all part here with a 167.5 kg squat. Come on, Noah. He needs to stay in the meet. Get up, Noah! Stand up, please, Noah! Please, please, please. And the I judges say it. the lift is no good. It's no good. Unfortunately, he, he does bomb out man. here. He walked it in too early. Unfortunately, he can still be in the competition, most likely as a guest lifter, but kilos, yeah. he didn't get the give it to him. What happened was there was he jumped the racket man. There was no wish to the depth. There was a great squat itself. He's got to be a little bit more conscious. And that's the thing, right? Like, you have to listen for those different commands. And squat, it is squat and rack. So... It's just two commands to listen for, but sometimes, like, when you're, like, in it, like, you kind of, like, lose. The bar is you just get too in it that you just, like, can't hear, you know? Here comes a three-for-three three attempt from Matt. A big jump, 15 kgs, 175 kgs. 386 pounds. I was waiting for the man in red to make this type of jump. He's been good all day. I feel like he's going to get this. Up, Stand up, up with up. it, Matt! Good catch, Spotters. That was a good drive. Let's hear for our Spotters and those, ladies and gentlemen. They're doing a phenomenal job keeping this feet running so efficiently. Something I like so to add to those commands. The squat command. They're looking for locked out knees, a motionless bar, and a proper control. With the rack command, they're once again looking for good control. Just grab. Look out for Just grab. Look for them. All yep. of your joints stacked together. Yep. And calm, cool, collective, no movement. <laughs> Here's Chef Graham with 182.5 kgs on this barbell. That's 402.3 pounds. Jeff Graham. And Jeff seems like a fairly tall lifter. Yeah, he so does. That's another layer to this squat. A lot more depth needed to be added. You're pretty tall, too. Not easy, man. <laughs> Good descent. Get up, Jeff. Get up, Jeff. Good catch, Butters. Nice Another great attack. We now go to 195 kilos, 429 pounds. And just got oh, respect. Jared. Here we go. We had Jared with 195 pages on his bar. 10 kg jump from his last attempts. 430 LBs. He's got some smelling salts. We could explain it scientifically what that does. Irritating the nostrils, sending blood flow and oxygen to the brain and muscle. But basically, it's just pure and pain and adrenaline. Yeah. Big advocate for smelling salts here. They actually give smelling salts to people that actually are like unconscious if they pass out. So. Yeah. You can have my fair share of pranks with my friends sleeping. Oh, wow. <laughs> Here's Jared, his third attempt. Let's go, Jared. Big boy sugar is in Get up, Jared! Get up, Jared! Big fight for Jared, and the judges say, Lift this girl! It's good. It's good play. Wait, what? For Jared, and what is what? This is the last third attempt squat of the morning, ladies and gentlemen. And here comes Sammy Moore. Sammy Moore. With a regular attempt. 529 pounds. 240 pounds. This is to break his own stand And he has just survived the back there. Bob Cruz had all day so far. That's the answer I love to see him look there. Yeah, he's so calm, I can't even. That good, goofy attitude. But once it gets that bar, bar is loaded for a different switch of Let's go, Sammy. 
This is a huge lift for Sammy. State attempt, 529 pounds. There it is. Maybe that's a signature. Bringing the bar up the rack. And once again, yeah. they have to unsteal. So intense that they have to re-tighten this bar. But if I'm, if I'm the jump man, what do we call him? Oh, the unrack man. The spotters and the loaders just really want to make sure he's safe. Everything's tight so he can finish this lift. The bar is going to be the archer side just that much. It changed so much in this one. Especially at this weight of 529. A state record attempt for Sammy. Let's see what he has to offer on his third attempt. I think he's got this. Let's go, Sammy. We're pulling for you over here. Wow. Big breath. Good up, Sammy! Wow, what a great third the little... judges say. The lift is good! Easier than his last attempt. I'm not even going to lie. Wait, what? That but it's ridiculous. I'm not saying you're right. Oh, wow. Maybe I missed it by the second time because that was butter. All right, guys. I think we have a 15 minute break right now. So we're going to do bench. Around quarter after 10. Around quarter after 10. Let's go to the bathroom. We are going to take a quick break before our bench press comes back with flight A.
We found a... Test, test. <laughs> Everyone, we found a phone in the men's bathroom. If you're missing a phone, please come to the head table. Test, 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 test. Test, test. Lifters, seven minutes until bench press starts for flight A. Seven minutes till bench press starts for flight A. We also found a phone in the bench. Never mind. Welcome back to the WRPF War Games here at Adelante Barbell Club in Kenilworth, New Jersey. We are a few minutes away from our first bench attempts of the day for Flight A. Something that's so cool about powerlifting is basically what inspires you to do it. Now this is the time where I'm going to take away to talk about a few people that have influenced me in my life. Somebody that was super important in my game of powerlifting was somebody by the name of Michael Calaricus. He works at the same place I did. And he was a really good powerlifter. 
he saw me lifting as an athlete and kind of influenced me to try to squat more, deadlift. And that kind of brought a whole new thing for me. He made my first split and he was super big for me. Other guys include Bobby O'Brien and Steven Scuba Quick. Two guys that always show up to the gym every night and motivate me to be as good as possible. And finally, everybody at where I work, the Retro Fitness Howell crew. We got the manager, Justin, my best friend. We got Evan Smith, our general manager, Maria, the director of fitness, and so many more people. Shout out to Kat, Victoria, Katie, Jake, and all of our training staff, Randy, Ham, and everybody there. Did you have any big influences that came to powerlifting for you? We get a lot of good. You guys do a great job. And they've been so much good feedback. Oh, really? People yeah. like texting us like, you guys do a great job. <laughs> you guys do great. That's okay. awesome. Um, That's all. I, I feel like powerlifting for me came in a time of my life where like I felt, like, oh, cookie, thank you. <laughs> it came in a time of my life where like I was really going through like a lot of hardship and um, I had just lost my mom at the time and she was one of the strongest people that I knew. So like the way that I channeled it was it's a powerlifting and when I couldn't be emotionally strong, I could be physically strong. So I always wanted to channel that for my mom. So like powerlifting is like a nod to my mom. I have a tattoo right here that has like a barbell, awesome. not just a barbell, but my mom's favorite flower because like powerlifting and like just being strong just always reminds me of her, you know? Yeah, so I lost something that was very important to me, my Aunt Jackie. I have a tattoo on my chest, and I made sure it was on my chest. So when I wore that singlet without the strap or deadlifts, we would see it. Uh, Having your inspiration, who you live for, is so important, and it adds another flair to it. Yeah. It just, like, it just brings it home for me. Like, I love the sport as it is, but I just love what the sport did for me personally. Yeah. Another thing is, help me out, because I played baseball before this. I was an athlete, and I hurt my elbow pretty bad, and it wasn't the same. I was able to find an outlet. Instead of playing baseball and struggling through the pain, I went to this sport, and it opened up a whole new environment for me. Now I'm on scholarship to go lift at a school called Ottawa University in Kansas. Congratulations. Shout out to Coach Ryan Baylor. Okay. He's gonna be my brand new coach and all my teammates. You know, the women just won nationals for college. Okay. Some pretty big lifters. I wish I had powerlifting when I was in college. Yeah, we got, we got Lolo in the game. Lolo in the gang, pulling it down there in Kansas. Something that's so cool, especially for some of the younger kids. You know, I was talking to the Nathaniel, 14 years old. 14. Considering he's so young, these opportunities are just opening up. College scholarships. It's big opportunities to get in and deep into this. Make this your like full-time thing. Yeah. The sky is the limit for a kid who's 14 years old that's doing this. It's just this. like mind blowing. Like for someone to be like so disciplined to like train and be in a sport like this at 14 years old, like that's just unbelievable yeah. to me. Yeah. Let's give a little shout out on the story. We got here. Yeah. Do that after. So, we're just about getting ready for our first bench attempts of the day for Flight A. I remember, have you ever PR'd your bench on a, in a competition? No, no, I have not. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I know, bench is like a sore subject for you. Um, Deadlift specialist. But I always wanted like two plates. Like I wanted to be like that gym bro, you know what I mean? Like I've always wanted two plates and I finally got it. I got 226 because of kilos, there but go. I got it in competition and I was falling like a baby. Like I was like, I could not believe that. Um, I think one of the things with like this sport is just being so, I feel like sometimes we hit plateaus and like we don't know how to like mentally get through those plateaus. And sometimes it means just like, you need to take a little bit more time, keep building. Because it's going to come, you the know what I mean? The thing is, you have more time. And it, even if it's not there in one meet, hop on a prep, get into another. Yeah. So, I think it's just like being mindful of your body, too. Like, just because you didn't have it that day doesn't mean you're not going to have it for the future, so. 100%. Lifting is so mental. Like, it's, like, you have to be, you have to mentally be there to be in it, you know? So let's talk about the bench press. With this, there are three commands we're looking for. Ooh, so commands. first of all, there is an unrack. And then they're going to wait for the bar to be stationary and under control. Once you show complete control of that bar, there is going to be a bench command. You're going to go down, and they're going to wait till the bar is stationary. A good pause. Yeah. And they're going to wait until it is not moving at all. Then there's going to be a press command. Once you get it all the way up and rack your elbows, they're going to have a rack command. 
and you cannot jump any of those lifts, or it's going to be a no good lift. I think that the bench press is probably one of the more technical lifts because you have those three commands. Uh, so you really have to be listening and just like understand that like there's three and that you have to literally get each one to get a good lift. Absolutely. Let's see if Sophia has a good lift. 47.5 kgs on the opener. That was Smoke it. I'm no genie, but I think we're going to see a good lift there. Yes. Yes, it is a good lift. Also, one of the things that the side are looking for to see if the butt leaves the bench. If the butt leaving the bench, they're going to give her a red. So she does not want that. Yes, what we call that in the biomechanical world is the five points of contact. Shoulders, both feet, butt, head. There you go. Big science guy. <laughs> Here's the call with 50 kgs on her first bench attempt. Uh, 10.23 pounds. Let's go, Nicole. Probably you won't. You think? Good music here. Good jams. We're vibing here. Here's the autograph. Great lift. That was easy. Wow. And the good lift. Good lift. Somebody I didn't else. expect anything else. Something else I'd like to add. So if you ask for a spot from either a coach or one of the lifters or the spotters, they will give it to you. Yeah. Which is important to a lot of lifters. Oh, yeah. I always have my husband lifting off for me whenever I'm benching and things like that. Because just the way he does it, I, li I literally just like, can't, I can't have anyone else do it. I don't know. And the line for Catherine. Here's Catherine. 55 kilos. Went three for three on squats. Let's see if you go four for four. Oh, let's go. A good setup here. Go, Catherine. Drive up. That was so speedy. Just how you want an opener to look. Like I said before, three whites. I love that for her. Just like I said before, you almost want to take this as an extension of your warm up. Now, when it comes to bench grip, are you wider, closer? Where are you? I'm like, a, I'm not wide at all. I'm like a sh medium. Like I'm not like like too close, but I'm like too wide. You know. Well, let's see what Kelly is on her first attempt with 60 kgs. I would call that sh medium. <laughs> is that sh medium? Is that qualified? Yeah, that's not medium. <laughs> Got the start command. Something Kelly did very well there. As we noticed, she was able to press really quickly because that bar became motionless. Most as soon as it came to that pause. Yeah, some people, uh, when they get to their chest, they keep the pressing the bar into their chest, and the bar is still technically moving, so they're not going to get that press command. And a lot of people will wait for a complete pause. But what's great about the WRPF is that we're just waiting for a motionless barbell. So you're not sitting there for five seconds. Mm -hmm. Ah, here goes my girl, Christina. I was back there when she was warming up, and she looks ready to go. Yeah. I'm so excited for her. Big numbers say on the bench. Um, she, I think she's going for a PR. There we go. PR, so she's opening with 65 kilos, 143.3 pounds. And, the bar is and she's used stuff Christina. like this, heavy weight on the bar. Let's go, Christina. Medium Look at that grip. beautiful, those beautiful locks on the bench. Oh, let's see what she has to offer. And I can Ella drive up. Good. That's an opener if I've ever seen one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. Now, this is something I'm super excited to watch. This is Ashley, who did have a state record in her squat, 110 kgs. She technically failed 115 on her third attempt, but smoked it. I think she's going to be putting up huge numbers all day. I think she is as well. And just that this is another state record attempt, like, she's here to win. Um, she's coming out over her state record attempt the whole time. 67.5 kgs on this bar. 148.31 pounds, I believe. Prediction. Smoke. Yeah. 
What'd I say? Three white lights there. That was beautiful. Here's Bree with 72.5 kilos. Lifting in the 56 open category. A humongous opener. Wow. This is 160 pounds right here. You can tell she's got a little flair, a little chip on her shoulder. Oh, yeah, she does. But she's also smiling and joking around in the warm-up. Once again, like I said, that was the best type of people on the platform. Yes, they, they are. They flip a switch and they are just Art in it. Is loaded for Brianna. This is going to be an insane bunch for her if she gets it. She's so strong. And she's so tiny but mighty, you know? She also seems to have a pretty big deadlift uh, opener. 135 is what's listed. I can't wait to see everything she has to offer. Yeah, like I said, I competed with her at Nationals, and she was a beast, so. Lower, but a little bit of a grunt there. Got that. Good. Kind of the exciting part about being a coach. I don't know if she is coach or not, but as a coach, at this point, you really have to get into your bag. Find right out what is going to be the proper number to move up from. Yeah. I think it's going to be a small jump for her next attempt, so let's see what she comes around with. Now, I got a question for you, because you can attest, because I haven't been here, and some of these listeners have, and some have haven't. What's it like in a national stage compared to a, like, a local meet? Oh my God, like the stakes are so high. I've competed nationally. I've competed internationally as well. I don't know if I I actually went to Slovakia to compete, but we can get more into that later. But right now we need Ariel. <laughs> Ariel with 82.5 kgs on this bar. Ooh, 181 pounds. That is a big bench. She's basically benching a man right now. A small man, but a man. Why? <laughs> Takes your time. Good pause. And slow. Oh, strong bench out of there. Let's go, Ariel. I want to see a 200 pound bench on that bar for her at one point, doesn't he? Hopefully. Here comes a state record attempt for Heather. 192 pounds. Wow. 87.5 kg. Let's talk about a slightly bigger male on that barbell. She's practically benching Justin Glazer right now. I love that for her. I just love, like, she's literally like a sunshine lifter. Like, I've, I follow her on Instagram. Like, she is here. She's ready. Aw. She's giving love to other people on the platform. <laughs> she's waving somebody over. Oh, she needs a lift off. There she goes. That's Let's see what Heather has to offer on this state record attempt. And it's a good lift. Beautiful. Good to judge that to say. Three white lights. Something I love about that is how slow and controlled she was down. Oh, yeah. 275 kilos, 275 so that when she finally did hit that ball on her chest, Stephanie. she was ready to go. Here comes Stephanie. Her first quick flicker of a day. As you can tell, she has a bench shirt on. Oh, wow. Ooh, we have a quick bench here today. Aspect of power, think, ladies and gentlemen. The bar is worth for Stephanie. Oh my gosh! 225 kgs and an opener. So those of you at home don't, that don't know what this is, this is called an equipped lifting. So she has a bench stir on. So it is a little different category from raw, um, but this is still some pretty intense numbers for her. She's gonna bench more than me. Woo. Let's go, Stephanie. I've actually seen a lifter put like over a thousand pounds on an equipped bench and successfully do it. I Madness. Wow. wow. If you blinked, you would have missed that one. That was ridiculous. 
It is a good lift. I don't believe she hit a full pause. Maybe not. But you know what? You can't sweat that because it moves so fast. It moves so fast, you're going to come back and she's going to kill it. The thing is, with the bench shirt, it actually is a little bit difficult with lighter weight because you're actually fighting it a little bit on the way down. Yeah, so it's one, almost like a slick shot in a sense. Yeah. So like as you go down, the tension keeps building and building and building. So when you finally get to your chest, you just like... So believe it or not, once she gets to the heavier weight, it's going to be easier for her to pause and you just oh she has the strength to shoot that up. Mm -hmm. That's unbelievable. Yeah. I can't wait, I can't wait to see what she's going to do for a second attempt. Yeah, this is Sophia here with 52.5 kgs. The second bench attempt of the day. Wow, we're flying through bench right now. That's a testament to all of our spotters, our loaders, and all of our lifters. Yeah. They keep this meat going it's nice. And get up, Sophia! Get up, Sophia! Up. Oh, she almost ran. She almost ran. Uh, she almost ran. She almost ran. She almost ran. Again, this lift has three different commands, so when you're lifting on that platform, you have to lift for all three of them. And that's so unfortunate because you see she tried to fight that. She wins that. She doubles yeah. up. Here's Catherine here with a state record attempt. 60 kg. How much pounds is that? That is 122.36 pounds. Thank goodness for Melly Bells. I know, my, my 2020 vision. <laughs> Is that way not be doing that in my head? And the is like Here comes the state, state record, record attempt. attempt. Nick Cole from the War Room. Love the War Room, where I had my first ever powerlifting meet. Actually. Oh, really? Let's go, Nick Cole. The coach Ray giving her the handoff. Let's see if she can get this. Push, push, push. Push, Nicole. And grind up. Let's see what the judges say. Great white legs, a state record. Something about the war, we know war room. Once again, my first place I've lived in at. I've met so many cool people. Somebody I met was Gavin Aiden. If you don't know who that is, oh, yeah. he's a pretty intense lifter. Lifted in the Sheffield, lifted at nationals. He's one of the coolest people I've ever come across in my life. He was also here at this venue for my second meet as a special Aww. guest, and he kind of talked me through my deadlift. Made sure I, I made a pretty cool connection with them. Oh, yeah, that's nice. He's such a great guy. I actually ran into his mom at Trader Joe's one time. There you go. She's like, yeah, my son's with too. And I was like, who's your son? Gavin. And I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the best in the world. Here comes Catherine here with 60 kgs on this bar. A nice jump of 5 kgs. <laughs> I feel like with bench, you're definitely going to see a little bit more conservative jumps because, especially for the women. But you know what? Maybe she needs a big jump. She's posting. Shout out to my girl, Chrissy, on the command, making sure everybody knows what they're doing. Yeah, she's an awesome head judge. She actually hosted her first ever meet. Lift Evil and the RBRB out together. Not only powerlifting, but also and strong man. Is loaded for really cool event. I love that. So when I was a baby lifter, I actually used to compete with Chrissy, and I always looked up to her. So just like fun facts about Chrissy and me and our life. Here's Kelly with 62.5 kgs on this bar. 137.8 pounds. Gotta respect the conservative jump. Wow. Very easy for Kelly, and the lift is maybe too conservative. Good. She is strong. We now go to 70 kilos, 154 pounds for Christina. Take it away. This is your girl right here. This is my girl. Shout out to my people watching on the live stream. Bianca, see you, Shayla. They are loading up 70 kg on this bar. 154.32 pounds. Let's see if my girl can get this. I have all the faith in her. Sending her my strong vibes. A little bit of good juju. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Christina. Bring it home. Unrack. The command. Beautiful. Wow. I think she's going to get a PR today. The lift is good. I think she's going to smoke a PR.
So he destroyed it. You got to go to 72.5 kilos, 159 pounds This is a state record attempt. Yet another one. I believe every single lift she has done has been a state record attempt. And the bar is loaded for Ashley. 72.5 kgs on the barbell. Aww. I'm in a group chat with my friends cheering for Christina. They're like, yeah, Christina! Well deserved. Uh -huh. Got a good corner. Let's go, Ashley. 160 pounds on that bar. Oh, wow. Very smooth. And the judges yeah, say the lift is hey. good. Put some weight up for Ashley. We're now going up. Rihanna Schmidt. Put some weight up 75 kilos. 165 of weight pounds on that bar. For a we state have great record for attempt. State record attempt of 75 kgs. Wow, 165 pounds. the red plate for a ride. And the camera's showing it right now as it is. She is having a great time. Her and her friends over here. Can I just tell you that it's one thing when like you can bench your body weight, but when you can bench and the bar is loaded as for a female in a local meet, that is something to talk about. Let's go, Bree. Let's see what she has here on the second bench attempt. Get up, Bree! Push, Bree! And the judges say, the lift is good! Oh. Definitely moved better than the first one. I'm going to tell you that. 85 kilos, 187 pounds. We have two more bench press second attempts of flight. Thank you for everybody who's in the live stream. Of the order. Supporting the lifters and the spotters here, but also us. We are having such a great time. <laughs> Phenomenal energy from everybody here. What a great atmosphere as we keep going. Now we have Ariel with 85 cages on the bar. And the bar is loaded for Ariel. Let's go, Ariel. And she's going to lift right on this beat drop. Lucky. Imagine. Let's go, Ariel. Come on, Ariel. A nice wide uh, oh, arm placement. Limits range the motion a bit more. Go, back. Ariel. Take your time. Oh, wow. Unreal. The best best technician, ladies and gentlemen. The lift is good. <laughs> now we go to Heather. Attempting I want to see these least 90 kicks. She's going to go next time. Oh, and here comes Heather. Oh, Heather. Savage on this platform. She's got a state record here with 92.5 kg. 203 pounds. Yeah. Oh, now we're talking a grown man on this part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and these are only second attempts here. These third attempts are going to be wild. Uh, I can't even imagine what she's going to do for a third. Because I know she's going to get this one. Let's go, Heather. Nice, slow, controlled descent. Get up, Heather! Get up, Heather! That was a grind, but I think and you got it. Say, the look is good! Nice, thank you, record for Heather. We now go to I'm very excited for this. The equipment here coming in. For She's retaking, right? She is retaking 125 kg. So we know we're going to expect. She's going to make what she messed up with. And absolutely smoke this. Let's just get those technical little things fixed and bring it home, Seth. <laughs> Do you have like a hype lift? A hype song to lift to? So there's a few, but when I step on that platform for deadlifts, it's interesting. The always been for base to end this. Ah. Marion Robert from the Yankees. Grew up watching him, loved him. Here comes Steph with the retake of her opener, 125 kgs. Not to undermine that because it's incredible weight.
So much technique needed when he quips lifting. Just getting into that bench shirt is a struggle, you know? Come on, Steph. Here comes an ascent. Nice, slow, hold control. Thanks wow. how that was there. Yeah. 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 Three white lights. And back to the top order we go. This is the top order the tech bench presses, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go with our speed. third Give bench attempt, where we're going to see big PR attempts and even Two. more state. I see so many PRs. Let's go, guys. Bring it home. Here comes Sophia, who did fail her second attempt. She jumped up 2.5 kgs. So make sure you know she can control and right. drive through. Yeah, I respect it. Sometimes you don't, you miss your second and you want to move up and out a little bit. So. I do want to add that it wasn't an actual bail. It was a technical bail. Technical error, yeah. Command. So we know she can move this way. They're going to re-rack it here. Something was off. Looks like they had an issue with the weight on it. There was an issue with the weight, so we're just going to switch that around and get it ready for her. Hopefully, That's Sophia right. can just right. mentally get back into it. Point I know she's got the bar it. Must be Adversity ain't nothing but a chicken oh. leg. I like that. And now the bar is officially ordered for Sophia. 55 kilos, 121 pounds. Here is Sophia with the 55 kg bench. 121 pounds out of the junior. Get up, Sophia! Get up, Sophia! What a fight! And the judges say, lift is no good. She missed that rack command. She jumped to the rack command. She racked the bar too early. Her, but just when you're that anxious, you got that much weight up, and she's so easy to miss it. 123 pounds. All I know is that she's getting ready for a big deadlift. Here comes the cold. Who is in perfect so far? Let's see if she can continue and go six more six, which is such a Let's difficult thing go. to do. A state record attempt of 56 kgs. Oh, she's having a good day. So let me get it Go, Nicole. Let's go, Nicole. Bring it home. Aww. We found love in a hopeless place. Let's see if she can find a bench in a hopeless place. A state record attempt for Nicole. Nicole! Push! 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 Downward motion with that bar. That was an awesome drive. You can't hang your head low there. She had such a good performance. Yes, she did. And now she's getting ready for a really nice deadlift day. Ten minutes. Ten more minutes, roughly, until flight B starts. Here's Kelly here with 65 kg. 143? Is that 3.3 pounds? With no wrist straps. I know it is competing in raw, but this is once again as raw as you're gonna get. Literally. No help, no support. Pure strength out of Kelly here. Super impressive. Come on, Kelly. Yeah, oh really my gosh, really and she absolutely really smokes is. that oh. It was like so fast, I kind of like missed it just now. Like, what the heck? You like, we are wrong. You can see that. The bar is loaded. Here's the junior, Catherine, with the same exact weight. Let's go, Catherine. She had quite the squat day. And if she hits this lift, she is going to be six for six hitting in the dirt. I hope so. I'm pulling cool for you, Catherine. Let's go. A little five kg jump. This would be so impressive with six for six on the day. Meaning she's hit every lift so far. As a junior. I don't see that very often. Push. Push. Yeah, Catherine. Unbelievable. And the judges say. 
That is going to be a PR for her, and it is also a state record attempt. So let's all get me Christina Sender. Good vibes. I want to see you sending her vibes. Let's go. Oh, it is mighty for Christina. I'm so proud of her. Pretty loud out here. This is a humongous state record attempt. I work with some strong ladies, that's what I'm going to tell you. Another six for six attempt as well. Let's go, Christina. Execute, it's all you. Let's see what you can do here. The unracked, the start demand. Get it up, Christina! Push it up, Christina! Push it up! And the judges say, from the Fizz Six for six, six. Good. Yeah. good. A state record for Christina. Six for six. I need to know that. So Another state record attempt coming in from Ashley. I love being a female. Let's go, Ashley. 77.5 kgs on this barbell. 170 pounds. Wow. Ominous music. Oh, we we're, we're blinded by her bench while we're being blinded by the lights, you know? Oh, right off the drop. Get off, Ashley! Let's see what the judges say on this. And the judges say, the lift is good! Unbelievable. Another state record. state record for Ashley. I can't even believe how Indiana. many state records are falling today. The state of New Jersey should be record for the guys. Still different. Record attempt. That's pretty close. The woman who weighed in at 122 pounds. Here comes the power. We're loaded. State record attempt. Oh, shit. Also going for six or six. 170 pounds on the bar for Brave. A little warrior here. Let's see what Brianna has to offer on this third bench attempt. Let's go, Brave. Under control. Get up, Brave! And you know what? She gave her everything she we had. We now go to Ariel. It was a great attempt. 198 pounds. This wow. is a state record we attempt. We had an amazing Look day so far. We had a couple of days. So I'm sure she was a little bit shaky in that last attempt, but she is doing amazing. Speaking of great days, Ariel oh, has a weight that's so low at 200 pounds at this bar. 90 kg. 178.42 pounds. Another state record attempt. Yes. She's got this. I know she does. I've seen her hit over 200, I believe, in some on her Instagram. So I'm hoping that she can lock this in right here on the platform. Oh, wow. Did I just watch and a third no, attempt to state record for the edge to open so it? So easy for Eric. Look this girl! Amazing. State the record for Eric. Wow. wow. This is 209. What do you have on the RP? State record attempt for Heather. Here's Heather here. 95 kg. Another state record attempt. 209.4. The ball is loaded for Heather. Stay record attempt! Let's see what she's go, got Heather. Let's see how she performs this. A state record attempt. Okay, control. Get up, Heather! Get up, Heather! Uh, and it was a good try. A good for fry at this point. So Heather did not get that lift, but that was amazing. So I know bench isn't your thing, but what's your top bench right now? So, funny story. I have a friend. Uh, he goes by Stuntman Mike on Instagram. 
What a good man. He actually competed in the Lift Evil WWF meet. Uh, I was at uh, Signature Fitness in Belleville, New Jersey, benching, and I always assumed a wide grip because my triceps are a little bit of a weaker point, but I was doing a lot of close grip arch and press really well. So he had a close grip, and I paced 300 for the first time in my life. We'll see if that translates to nationals. Yeah. What do you got, Anya? Wow, this is full 308.65 pounds for Stephanie, 140 kilos, an equipped lifter. Wow. Oh, honestly, speechless by the weight that's on the bar. 140 kg. This is like a deadlift attempt. Unbelievable. This is crazy. I really am pulling for her. I'm hoping that she could really get this lift. Get... Look at him tightening her on the bench. Let's go, Steph. Nice, easy unrack. She's got it. Ah! I slow to say. Oh wow. my gosh! I see if we got that. For and the lift is so good. And it's so good. She had two reds there. Three okay, actually. What technically happened there? But the bench, your in contact with the bench. She lost one of the points in contact. Her button and didn't come off the bench. We now go to the top of flight B. So we'll give a minute for our referee to reconfigure, get themselves in the best position possible to be judge. We are heading to flight B now, and I'm we very excited to see some of the numbers of Daniel, Daniel, attempting 65 kilos, 137 pounds. I got to talk to Nathaniel backstage, and he's such a bright, young character, super jittery, excited. He is 14 years old, and this is actually his second career meet. So he's been here, done this. He is lifting today for his mother. She can't be here today because she is a CCD teacher spreading the word of God on Saturdays and Sundays. And he just wanted me to call her out. Her name is Elise, and I know she is rooting in her head for Nathaniel today. Man. He's definitely going to make his mom proud today. Absolutely. I'm expecting a pretty nice bench. He's starting with 65 kgs at 14 years old. That's a number right there. That is a huge number. I'm thinking we could see maybe even 170 pounds on this bar today for the junior. At age 14, the bar felt pretty heavy for me. <laughs> yeah. Even on squats. Yeah. <laughs> that just is a testament to how talented this young kid and the future that he has. The bar is loaded. The opener is 143 pounds. Let's go, Nathaniel. He's asking for a lift. Something that's super important with lifts is communication. Tell them what you want, countdowns, the speed of it, making sure you are under control. And that Daniel knows exactly what he wants. Yes, he does. He was telling that spotter and loader exactly how to lift it off for him so he can get this lift. He's so in let's control. see him get it. He's in control of this game. Easy. Oh, beautiful lift for Daniel. <laughs> we have one red, maybe a butt cheek, maybe lift it off the bench, but uh... he's communicating with the judges. He knows exactly what he has to do to fix that. Yep. Shout out to Ghost Energy, sweetest fish. Let's get a little bit of review. Never had some. I got mine. Cheers. Cheers. Little sip. Shout out to my boy Logan Waltz at Police and once for both. Phenomenal. Seven eight. <laughs> Here comes Shabum. 70 kgs on the bar. 154.32 pounds. Some good weight here. It is. Taking his time, getting set. I love that. Never a need to rush it. This 
This is around body weight for him. So let's see if he can uh, press himself. That'd be pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Wow. He can press himself and then thumb. I'm not really sure if I have to say too many words on that. The people watch, the people in the crowd, the spotters, the judges, everybody here, they know what just happened. Yep. Three beautiful white lights. Fucking real. <laughs> you know what? Shades of the rating, it's growing on me. It's a phenomenal energy. Ghost, you guys did a phenomenal job. <laughs> 9 1, gonna get this again. Swedish fish flavored. Okay, okay. pounds for Rob Ortiz. Also had a chance to spot out Rob. Today, he has his sister Aww. being his coach. He wanted to shout her out over there. Here's the lift. Push, push. And nice. it is. Let's see what the judges have to say. You look this good. Two white lights. Beautiful left. That's pretty cool. The family act with the paddle and having your sister there as your coach. Yeah. I know my sisters, whenever they used to come to my competition, they used to be so scared. They're like, I'm like, I'm not going to get hurt. I got this. He comes back with a substantial weight increase of 85 kilos. Still being around like 190 pounds right now. It's at 187. He gets a start command. Oh my God. He works out at first. Is he a performance lab? I wonder if that's like a home gym for him. That is his last name. Yeah. I like that he named his own gym then. That's nice. <laughs> There's Noah here. Noah did bump out on spots. But I think Ben's going to be a good story. The head judge is feeling the jams up there. Small buggy on Instagram. Shout out. He just competed at the Ghost Flash. And he wasn't Florida. happy with his numbers, but anything over 1,700 total. Yeah, that's a pretty good day to me. Wait, he looks great. Here comes Noah Spence. 209 pounds right there on that bar for him. Nice and he made it fly like an eagle. With oh close grip, God. may I add. Good. 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 We have Jeff Graham here with an opener of 110 pages. I'm feeling some rhythm up here. His coach is a hulk of a man. Wow. People in Lodging will get to see him on right the bar. Room. There he is. So his coach, I actually used to compete with him too back in the day, you know? Lifting brings like such familiar faces together that I love it. Absolutely. A good unrack for Jeff. And we're going to see what the judges have on this one. And it is good. Like, and something so interesting. So many people have actually, like, maybe only even seen on social media. Instagram, something like that. But you see them in person. And that you just like, know them. Yeah. Like, I feel like I, I like know a lot of people through Instagram. Like, when I meet them, it's just like, oh, my God. You're Melly Mouse 914. That's my name, by the way. There you <laughs> go. Shout out. Go ahead and add her. Here we go. Jared with the long locks, curly hair. Oh, his coach is Team Zottle. 112. Zottle's out of Canada. He's an amazing lifter. 112.5 is good. Here comes Brian Hannon, who has been first match. Don't let the glasses fool you. He is Clark Kent, but once he takes those off, he is Oh, yeah. A 270 pound bench. That's going to be crazy to watch. He's looking for a possible 300 bench today. I talked to him behind the scenes today. He feels like he could possibly have that strength in him. Let's see how this opener moves. 
270 pounds. And the weight's only gonna get crazier from here. Close. We're it. Let's watch the triceps work. That moves pretty fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Three white lights out of Brian. Something I love out of this. All white lights so far. No fails on the benches yet. I love that. White bees is doing a great job. They're great. They're locking it in. They're they want to finish this meet. It's going fast. And here comes the man of the hour, Sammy Moore. He had a huge squat. He also has a pretty big bench. Um, so let's see if he can nail this opener. 319.67 pounds. And just a little precursor. I'm looking at the numbers and it's dead. Looks like it could be pretty big too, judging by his oh opener. God, yeah, Not going to spoil that. We're going to have to wait a little bit to see that. But for now, Sammy Moore is coming up here with 145 kg as an opener. 300. This is a little bit over three plates if you're at a commercial gym. So this is some big weight. Commercial gym, shout out Retro Hell. <laughs> shout out LA Fitness Wayne. <laughs> oh no. See what Sam has got to offer. Smoked it. Something I like to add about Sammy is that often you see somebody with such a big, say, squat or deadlift, it's usually a little bit lopsided, like me per se. Well, my squat and deadlifts are good, but my bench is apart. Sammy looks super even in all aspects. Yeah. And then I feel like you always have that stronger arm, you know, because, like, yeah. So sometimes, you, as long as you lock it out and both arms are locked out, you'll get basically kind of get you know? You gotta love it, though, because especially at like a national level, original level. Sometimes in the lower bench, you're trying to catch him on deadlift. He isn't going to have to. He's going to be on part with everything, just smooth sailing through. Smooth sailing. He's having a good day. Coming back for a second attempt is a 14-year-old junior. Aww. Nathan, he's got his headphones on. I wonder what he's listening to. No. Maybe Ice Spice. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's you. <laughs> I, uh, one of my favorite VR songs, and actually had it as one of my bench songs in competition. Awesome. Um, there's this version of like a Disney soundtrack, Mulan, um, I'll Make a Man Out of You, and it had like a little rock to it. And I was like, yeah, because I'm a strong as a man. You know? Let's go, Nathan. A so, 10 kg jump. Yeah, this is going to be amazing for him. I hope he gets it. Let's see what he has. Sixty-five pounds. He's teetering just below what he wants as a lifetime PR. Oh wow. One hundred and sixty. This is gonna be a close one. And you know what? He was called the Reds because of downward motion. But the way I see that, that was just a miscarriage. Yeah. Nothing wrong. Just maybe dial in a little bit. Put some more weight on that bar. I think he's got a big attempt coming up. Oh, yeah. You know, it's already been a pretty decently long day for them, although they've been, it feels like it's fast. Like, I feel like sometimes it's like your body gets a little bit more taxed over the course of the day, so maybe his triceps are a little... Funky right now. Robert is loaded for Roberts. Robert. Robert Ortiz. Little hiccup. It is Roberts. 80 kilos, 176 pounds. Yes, I'm going to add, especially from experience, hitting a squat PR, you are done. You're tired. You got to get those gummy candies in, those Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> you build the glycogen storage, just get those simple sugars in. Drink a ghost energy. Or bucked up. Use code JJList1 at checkout. Selfish plug. Anyway, here comes Rob. Rob is grinding. He's grinding. Is that grind? This is a grind. He's still going. And let's see what he has. The 80 kg in the is no that was an impressive oh, point, no though. Well, he still right. finished that. Well, Maybe not a cup, it's a standard PR, but you gotta... Uh, it's yeah. definitely a gym PR. Also, ladies and gentlemen, between... And he's gonna try to retry the next second 
Here's Shibo. 80 kg is the same weight. 176.37 pounds. Good thing out of Health Quest HQ. Let's go, Shibo. This junior, 16, 17 years old, the future of this sport. And the future looks bright to me. <laughs> I think we got a lot to look forward to in the next few years. So good. They do have it at no good. His butt came up off the bench. Once again, he did lose full contact of that bench we with the, the rear end, end the bump, if you will. Yeah, the judges are looking at both of those cheeks, so they got to say glue to that part. But you know what? Watching how fast that move, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Where's next step? Here's Matt. He's setting up for 92.5 kgs here. That's 203.93 pounds. We are still looking for a good second attempt on bench in flight B. Will he start us off strong? Set the tone. That so. was oh, beautiful. That was very fast for Matthew, but unfortunately he, he did not get the lift because he was far man. too early. You must hold the weight at the top and wait for the referee to give you a I did miss the rat command on a big stage with the honorable one pound feeding. I literally, I literally was like, I know exactly what I did. And it just like sucks, you know? Like it's uh, just a little technical error, but. Fix it, your next attempt? Oh yeah, I fixed it. There you go, and I'm sure that's what Matt's gonna do. Here's Noah with 102.5 kgs on this bar. 225 pounds. Oh, this is what I hit for the first time ever in competition. I hope he gets this. The junior sends it low and explodes. And explodes! So we're going to start asking you before Noah, the lift is Noah! Oh, lifts? That is an amazing lift. We were waiting for our first green lift. There it is. Way to set the tone, Noah. Stuff is starting to start getting up, going down. 115 kgs on the bar for Jeff Graham. Let's go, Jeff. The bar is loaded for Jeff Graham. I also actually got to lift with him a few times. Okay. Another really cool character in the sport. Super genuine. Let's go, Jeff. Jeff is lifting to TLC right now, so let's go. Uh, and look at that quick up command because he was so good at being motionless on the chest. Yeah, so if you get a quicker press command, you really want to bring that bar down and it would be motionless on your chest. Sometimes some people depress it into your chest. So that doesn't mean that you're going to get a press command until the bar is completely motionless. Absolutely. It's something good to practice while you're at your own gym Jared. before you get here to competition. We have Jared here, who's on a row right now. Three straight completed lifts. He's at 117.5 kgs on this barbell. Wow, 259 pounds. That is crazy. And a great second attempt. That was beautiful. See, may not have been the most speedy, but it was smooth and fluent. It was no good, but he is setting himself up for a good final. Oh, yeah. He jumped to the press command. He jumped to the press command. We got a total of 130 kilos, 286 pounds for Brian Shout out to my girl Kate from Paradigm Powerlifting, Powerlifting Mama on Instagram. Uh, the proper word support for me and Mel's. She is awesome. Great social media presence and just great around. When she sets in the room, Ryan. you just know she sets her presence. The atmosphere is there. Yeah. We love you, Kate. She's a gem. Shout out to you, Kate. Here's Brian. 130 kgs on this bar. 286.6 pounds. Wow, that's a big one right here. Attempt for Brian. Ryan, push it, Ryan. Oh, and he just 
We now go to 150. That was a good catch for our audio holders. And we are keeping our lifters safe. Again, if you've never slotted or loaded, but you have competed, I think it's something that everyone should do at least once in their powerlifting career. Just get back to the sport that has given to you in some type of way. So. And even when you're not ready to compete, if you're in prep or you're just taking time off, it keeps you in the sport, brings you into the community. Such many people like how I just met you this morning. Here he is, Sammy Moore, 115K, wow, 450 this is, kg. This is a state record attempt right here, 330 pounds on that bar. Come on, Sammy. Let's see what he has in him. Exploded. Wow. Moore. Wow. That was just no, no, under no, 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 That was the no, second attempt at one the lift is good, yeah, Ace Dave. Here in order with Sammy Moore, he is just stacking these records. We love to see it. I cannot believe how fast that moves. I love this guy. I wonder what he's going to do for his third. Sammy, and it's just a normal Nike runner. You start screaming. Nothing fancy here, just Nikes. He's, he's very close to like a. He's very we close to like a two-time bodyweight bench. Yeah, this guy's a savage. <laughs> We have the third bench attempt coming up. Oh, yeah. The most exciting part of all of our LFC start attempts, where we see more records, all time PRs, meet PRs, and just people reaching goals that they have dreamt about all their life. Here comes Nathan with his second attempt of 75 kgs. He did not get it up the first time, but there's going to be a different element, a different attitude to him here. Yeah, I hope he approaches that bar with ferocity and let's, let's get it done. Yeah. Give me a little smile right there. It's just such a good attitude. Humble, polite, everything you want to see out of a young man. He was raised so well by his mother. Yeah. And he's oh, doing everything he needs to do to get goal. this weight up. At 75 pounds. Let's get behind the table here. Let's go, Nathan. Sixty-five pounds on that bar, Nate. Come on. Breathe, Nate. Take your time here. Get up, Nathaniel. And you know what? It was a great effort. Yeah, it definitely was. And the number he put up on bench at 65 is total. That's enough to keep him in for a good total that he's going to be looking for. Oh yeah, for sure. Great effort from the kid. You gotta love a little ambition going high. I do love that. All right, so Rob is about to try to hit 80 kilos again. This was his second attempt, and now his third. I'm hoping that he can dial it back in and bring it home. Dude, he's got 176 here. pounds on that bar. Rob, once again, coached by his sister. Good up, Robert. Let's see what the judges judge say. say. It is good. Three wide. Let's go. He came back and he finished. I love that for him. Absolutely. Adversity, so what, now what? Here is Siobhan Patel he with 85 five kilos. kilos, even though he didn't get a second at 80. So, he's confident. He's confident. Let's see if he can bring it home. I think his last lift, his butt lifted, I believe, but... But it shouldn't be an issue because of how fast it moved. A nice service um, 5 kg jump here. 187.39 pounds right here. My life honestly changed when I hit that 185 mark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> First ship milestone. Come on, Shiva. Get up, Shiva. Go, 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 go. Uh, that was a good oh, fight, Shiva. Good pass. 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 Good you're gonna smoke it all in deadlift. Oh, I yeah, know for it. Sure. Speaking of smoking weight, here's Matt with 100 kgs on this bar from his final attempt. Oh,
Let's go, Matt. 220.46 pounds for Matt. And I think I'm liking what's about to happen here. A big jump. Wow. Um, okay. Okay. Good control descent. A quick yeah, man. That boy's strong. Okay, man. Okay, man. Okay, man. Yeah. Three white lights for Matthew Mercio. That was really good. A good third attempt of 100 kgs. Good for him. In the 40-44 class, master. And Matt only missed his second attempt because of the rack command, I believe, so... He knew what he had to do, he fixed it, and he listened for those commands, and he got it, so... He's multiple. Yeah. Hey, 10 kilo jump here for Noah. Hey, okay. And his third attempt, he is two for two so far on bench. Can he finish it out? Noah Evans. Flip the script here. Okay. 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 All right, Noah, two hundred forty pounds on that bar for him. He's he is a junior, 20 to 23 years old. Right on the beat drop. Get it up, Noah. Push it up, Noah. And he hit a solid point. A great Next effort. Time, Noah, yeah. Once again, all heart there, ambition, a big jump. Why not, right? Here is Jeff Graham coming up with 120 kg. Pop up in the night. I think he can handle some big weight here. Go, Pops. Five, two, four, Jeff. Everyone's dancing in the room right now. We're loving life. And I'm sure Jeff is going to want to dance after smoking this weight. Oh, Let's yeah. go, Jeff. Let's go, Jeff. <laughs> Come on, Jeff. <laughs> Bah, 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 bah. Oh, the song. Uh, and once again, a great effort for Jeff. We keep the way to the same for Jerry. Next, coming up, we have Jared. Oh, he actually jumped it a little bit, even though he missed his second attempt. A modest jump, though. A very modest jump. Him and his coach probably talked it over. Mm -hmm. That's what they need to do to get this lift with three white lights. Yeah, maybe some white oh, hairs. Love the striped shirt that his guys wear. 120 kilos. He is a junior. <laughs> Whoa, got robotic. <laughs> so, Jared. Come on, Jared. 120 kg. Some start command. A good pull. Get it off, Jared. Push it up, Jared. Yeah. And the judges say, Look at this go. And he makes his mistakes. Left 120 kg. That's his final, final bench. Session. And here comes Sue. Very important bench attempts. My guy Brian failed 130 before, but he's going to come back with a vengeance on this one. I hope so. Go, Brian Lockin. Yeah. He's retaking his last attempt, and I'm hoping he'll bring it right on home. Man, he looks so much younger. Oh, he's he's go as a junior. Just a three. He's a submaster. I'm gonna be a submaster this year. Congratulations, you made it. No, I'm like 35. That's old, bro. <laughs> that is an old. You think that is old? No, that is it. Uh, <laughs> Let's go, Brian. Come on, Brian. Get up, Brian. Push it up, Brian. Oh, Look, this is short. Brian, I'm going a little high right now. Bench press. 
of the morning session. Sammy My goodness. Moore. Do you I see that number? The weight on this barbell. I don't know if my eyes are seeing this normally. It's pretty blurry. I can't. But that is 336 pounds. 152.5 kgs from Sammy Moore. Trying to beat the own state record that he literally just got a few minutes ago. Yeah, he jumped at 2.5 kilos. Sammy, Sammy Moore. A lot of these people in this room are pumped for Sammy. Let's go. Come on, Sammy. I can't wait to see this. I feel like he thrives in adversity, so I feel like he's going to grind right through this. Get on, Sammy! Oh, my wow, God. God. It's not even a grind. Moves 152.5 kgs. Again, opener. A state record for Sammy Moore. Wow. My gosh. All right, guys. We saw so many good bench attempts, so many good fights, and so much adversity. Now, in about 15 minutes, we are going to the first deadlift attempts for flight A. We are going to catch you in a little bit. A small break. We'll catch you back.
Caracas. Lifters, you have nine minutes and 30 seconds until flight A deadlift start. Nine minutes and 30 seconds. Lifters in flight A, you have five minutes until flight A opening deadlift start. Five minutes till flight A opening deadlift start.
Welcome back to the WRPF War Games here at Adelante Barbell Club in Kenilworth, New Jersey. If you're just joining in with us, I'm Justin Glazer. I'm Melanie Jones. And what's your Instagram handle? JGlaze8. And I'm Melly Mills 914 if you want to follow us. Um, we're here with you guys. We're ready for some big deadlifts. I don't know about you, but I love deadlifts. Check it out. You see how these lights kind of dim down? Oh, yeah. Yes, we're sitting on the ambiance. It's because WRPF NJ does it right. We know deadlifts are the premier lift of powerlifting. It's and the last hurrah. The vibe, the stage, and we just know we are some good lifts. This is personally my favorite lift. It's mine too. So before powerlifting even started, I'd never touched a straight bar deadlift, at least conventionally. Oh, really? For baseball, I did a lot of hex bar deadlifting, which I know is very frowned upon in the powerlifting community. I'm sorry, athlete. Yeah, deadlifts is like, I feel like it's the last lift because it's a full body lift. Like you're literally using like every single muscle, your lats, your quads, your hands, your glutes. Like it's literally like the finisher of finishers, I would say. I would say. And something else I want to add, not just are we looking at strength, deadlift is an opportunity to show your player. We're starting to have people using uh, third attempt deadlift songs, showing their music taste, yeah, what they want to get hyped to. You got people coming out with new different types of singlets, shirts off under it, maybe headbands, different accessories. And you also get to see walkouts. Oh, see how yeah. they set up for that bar, different antics. Maybe we see a jump, maybe maybe a mimic. Jump man. Jump man, jump man, jump man, jump man, jump man. Oh, I am so I excited. love deadlift setups for some people. Like, I feel like they're just like, it may or may not be like a bit extra, but like if it works for you and you get the lift, I am here for it, okay? It's all about getting in that zen zone. That is locked. Mm -hmm. Locked in. And just, wait for and just feeling the energy of a silly goose surge through your body. Gotta love those silly gooses. Shout out all my silly gooses. Now, I gotta ask you, Melissa, yeah. are you team sumo or team conventional? I am actually team conventional. Let's go. Um, my, str oh. my strongest conventional deadlift right now is 496. And I actually did that in competition. That's unbelievable. Yeah, so I'm also team conventional. My best pull was also, once again, in competition here at the WRPF Northeast Regionals. Okay. I pulled 623 with a torn MCL. Fun. It's bonkers. A little painful, we had the Advil going, like we said before. Yeah. But this is also such a nice meet. To say people who struggle a little bit on bench or didn't hit the numbers they wanted, this is where we can really catch up our numbers. Yeah, you can make it up and like get that total that you're trying to aim for, you know? And not for nothing, this is the one that everybody in the crowd is most into. This is it. We have made it to the end yep. of the first session. One game and the third will start in one minute. This is also where, like, this could literally be, like, you jumping to first place or staying in second, you know? Like, you, it's very strategic, I think, especially at high-level powerlifting. You literally can, like, jump your attempts so that you can get that first place yeah. spot, you know? As somebody who's always kind of fell off during bench, kind of almost maybe got last place in bench for people around my weight, I really always catch up and go over with deadlift. Yeah. It's the savior. We have 30 seconds till our first deadlift attempts of the day. Sophia will be leading yeah. us off. Yes. This is awesome right here. Once again, still sipping on that ghost sweetest fish. Oh yeah. Thank you, ghost. Ghost. Something you're going to see is another tech that Devlin has used. They will have powder on their legs. Now, what is that? That is baby powder. Quite the opposite from chalk. With chalk, you want it to stick to your hands, not lose grip. But with baby powder, you want it to be nice and slick on your legs so you don't have any abrasions and it slides up your legs nice and easily. And sometimes, you know, girls got some thicker thighs, so we need a little bit more baby powder. No more, no more. I'm super excited for this. The strobe lights are on. The bright lights. Judges, do the platform, this is please. the big stage right here. WRPF NJ. War Games. 
Do we just like already say like how beautiful these Hansu plates are? Like my gosh, uh, shout out to Hansu. That chrome finish, the beautiful colors, the red, the yellow, the green, but that beautiful chrome finish. It's that sleek. It's so nice and mixy. I love it. And something we also like to add to equipment wise, today we are using the Kabuki Strength Deadlift Bar. Okay. Now, what's the right Is this is a longer barbell and a little bit slimmer? Some of your offers is more slack. It's with me. So you can see a quick slack pull. Nice bend in this bar. If you can do it right, you are going to pull so much off the ground. Yes, let's go. Sophia with 176 pounds. Easy. There you go. And the lift is good. It's good. There's two commands. Oh, no, sorry. One command with the deadlift. It's down. <laughs> Some things you're looking for are a hard lockout. These, everything locked out. And also, soft down. You cannot slam it. Absolutely. Yeah, I've actually got all of that before. Control over the bar. You need to have control when you're bringing it back down to the ground, or else that will be all red. These plates are too pretty to break. But like you're strong, right? Like you should be able to control it. In theory. Yeah. Somebody's getting a little too hype. Yeah. <laughs> I think these are just gonna control that. Here is Catherine, Catherine with 120 kgs as her opener. 254.55 pounds on that bar, I believe. The junior has been perfect so far. Ready to continue making her mark on this competition. Let's go. Conventional. That's a pretty dozen. Uh, deadlift is good. Yeah. Deadlift is where we're able to have a little bit of fun, ladies and gentlemen. We put a spotlight on our lifters. I'm going to assume it needs to be something strikes. Ashley is coming up with another, yet another state record. She's literally been taking all the state records of all This is her last year, last month, I think, as a submaster. So she's literally come to sweep the board and leave her mark. There is 126 records on this barbell. A state record is set for Ashley. Let's go, Ashley. That was easy. <laughs> that would be nice to see if it's a price, but I'm shocking. <laughs> we know whatever, whatever. Let's go. Speaking of big weight, we have Nick Paul coming up here. With 132.5 kgs. 292 pounds. Let's go, Nicole. Let's see what she has. Another strategy she is using is having wrist wraps. Now, if you tighten these good enough and you close your hands, it is very difficult to lose grip. Then you're gonna clench your hands shut. Another great technique to use. Also an alternate grip. Another conventional puller. Light work. The lift is good. Next, we have Bree. 135 kgs on this bar. Okay. I don't know about you, but I'm thinking she's becoming a fan favorite around here. I think she is. Look at her over there. We got 135 kilos, 297 pounds for Brianna Schmidt. Dancing. I'm ready for some deadlift songs at the right at the very end. Oh, yeah. I cannot wait to see what these lifters are going to pick to hype them up to let get the finish of the day. Three, 135 kgs as an opener. Why is that that big? Let's go, Bree. And a narrower sumo. Almost froggish, if, you know, if you're aware of that stand. Uh -huh. With the snappy opener. Oh, Easy lift, good. and the lift is good. We have a Kelly. She may have to be a little bit more conscious of controlling the bar down a little bit there. But no sweat. Easy. Here's Kelly here, who has had a great day on the platform with 145 kgs as her opener. Bar is loaded for Kelly. Let's go, Kelly. 319 pounds. She's had a great day. Only missed one of her lifts so far. Let's bring it home. 
Is that hook grip I see? Oh, yeah. With the hook grip conventional. That's a hook grip? is good. Now, what hook grip is, is when you take your fingers and you put your thumbs under them. It hurts really bad, but you're able to endure that. You are not talking that long. Yeah, I don't know if I can be a hook grip for my nails. You know, my nails. I've been working on it. That's the first thumbs. 336 pounds. Ooh, Heather, let's go. Heather oh, put up a big there, number. Heather. 152.5 kgs, that's it out there. Let's go, Heather. And her girl to power lip singlet. Here we go. Big deep breath, big brace, like. Beautiful. With another conventional deadlift that is good. Perfect opener. We now nice go to 155 kilos. This is my girl. Take it away, Steve. Right. We have Christina coming up. 155 kilos, 347.72 pounds on that bar. She's going for a PR today, and I'm really pushing for it. So let's see how this opener moves for her. I love this girl. That long hair, that sparkly belt. She's here to bring it. Let's go, Christina. Here we go, the lift. Christina's having us up. Wait on the bar, Christina. She doesn't miss. Yeah. The lift is crazy. Oh. Five. Easy. It's something you notice. She did a proper slip pull, which means taking out the slack or the whip on the bar for your lunch. And that created a really nice bend on the bottom. Yeah. And you can do that properly. The bar is coming up. A few inches off the ground before you even lift the weight. When you need to have an yeah, optimal yeah. position to deadlift as much as you want. And I feel like this bar gives you a little bit more confidence because you feel it moving before it even breaks that ground. And now, is for Ariel. 177.5 kgs, 391 pounds. And she's doing this sumo. She's usually conventional lifter, so this is a little change for her. And I know she's here for it. Let's see her do basically 400 pounds sumo, a new lift for her. Oh, an opener, a humongous one at that. Let's go, let's go. There it is. Big control. Look at that singlet. Unbelievable. That is a heavy weight right there. Yeah, she got a red and she went to go talk to that judge about what that red was for. So she's going to fix it for her next one, for sure. My butt and got uh, left hanging there. I've never seen this, but I got you, buddy. <laughs> we will have a one minute runoff to allow our lifters to recover. <laughs> Sorry, she was just so locked in. Right at the end of the day, here's Sophia with a 7.5 seven kg jump. Really That's something I love about the deadlift. You can afford to take bigger jumps like this. Yeah, a 7.5 kilo jump for her second deadlift. On the contrary to the bench, where it feels like you can add one marshmallow and it just ruins Literally, it. It's like the marshmallow makes the difference, but deadlift. Like... Two, count them, two marshmallows. SpongeBob reference. Love that show. I love SpongeBob. <laughs> At work, we were trying to talk about like dressing up like the SpongeBob characters. And now we're going to be Larry the Lobster, of course. You know what I mean? Those big guns. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, oh, oh. And the bar is loaded. Here's Sophia for her second attempt. 87.5 kgs. This is almost 200 pounds on that bar for her. Let's see what she can offer here. That's the most stance. Good leverage. Get up, Sophia. I'll tell you what, a little bit of grab up the grab, but once she gets it all, it flies. Yeah, it looks a little easy for her. Yeah, she's ready for a big third attempt. Do you have speed off the ground, or do you, are you like speedy at lockout? Like, what's your thing? I actually fail right before lockout. My uh, off the ground is lightning, but when I do fail, which I have in a competition, thank, thank you. So far, at least. Oh, yeah. it fails, maybe an inch more lockout. I'd say lockout's a little tough for me. Mm. My upper body is lacking compared to my legs. Yeah. How about you? I am a speedy at lockout, and I'm a, I'm slower off the ground. But let's see what Catherine is right here. Yeah. 
with 281. I think she's just speedy in general. She's just speedy, yeah, she's just speedy in general. 127.5 kgs. Absolutely smoked. I used to be so fat off the ground, and then like my lockout was always lacking. And now I'm flip flop. So now I'm just like, like now I'm practicing rack pulls below the knee where my skinny boy usually is. Which is the method? Fix your worst parts. Here goes Ashley. If you're not surprised, she is going to break her own state record here. Oh, yeah. 137.5 you know, inches. Yeah. Ashley's out here hogging all the state records today, ladies and gentlemen. 303. Breaks 300 mark. Beautiful. And now we move on to the call, attempting 142.5 kilos. I wonder which one we think for her third. A 10. Effortlessly. A 10 kilo weight jump. 314 pounds for Nicole Santa Monica. This is well over time. Let's go, Nicole. And the bar is loaded for Nicole. It's like so focused, so ready, so in control of her lips. I just love watching it, like how intense she is. Let's see what she can do here. Sets her lat, sets her brace. Make sure she gets a nice tight grip. It so really takes your time for the setup. What she does. Do? Intentional. Oh. No, I wasn't there. There's going to be no She will be back on her we have got Bree Bree moving to 142.5. That is. And the ball is loaded for Brianna Schmidt. 314. This would be absolutely incredible. Look at her dancing, vibing up there, getting her set up. She's just a little bit under three times the body weight. Get up, Brianna! She oh, locks it up. And the judges say... She told me that she signed up for this competition three weeks ago. So why would her come in and be dominating like that? She's so that, that's incredible. It is not even being on a full press. I give it to her. Here comes Kelly, 336 pounds on this barbell, 152.5 kg. She's had a phenomenal day so far. Let's see if she can continue that. Another hook grip attempt. Look at the ball. Oh. All the way, Kelly. That's a big ten lift right there. The, the lift say. is going to be good. A phenomenal deadlift from Kelly. Here's Christina with an 165 kg pull. Oh man, this girl has so much in the tank, and I just can't wait to see her explode. This is going to be easy for her. I've seen her do this before in the gym, and now she just has to do it on the platform. Ain't nobody hey, taking away. For Christina. Let's go, Christina with the bedazzled belt. She has absolutely dominated the platform today. Oh, yeah. Her breakthrough every attempt so far. Yeah, and there Christina. it is, again, oh, yet again. Oh, and oh, oh, for is Christina. That's quick of a three white lights that, that you are going to see in this sport. Just one from nine pounds. I think she should be doing about... And the bar is loaded for Heather. Here's Heather. All tried a great death of the temple for Here's 165 kgs of the bar the same way. Aw, let's go, Heather. Come on, Heather. She sets in, got nice and quiet. She's locked in. Wow. <laughs> they didn't even need the music. Lock it out, Heather. Lock it out. She's on lock out on the judges. Send on the three white light. Open her right there. Let's go. We now go to 407 right. pounds. Jumping to 407 kilos. Doing sumo. Very good. God. 407. If you're a commercial over looking for a commercial lifter, it's over gentlemen. four plates. Over it four is. Plates. And this is one of the trippiest uniforms, trippiest singlet combinations I've ever you, this seen about. This girl is here for all the spice. She has this glitter singlet, this glitter belt. She always brings the beauty to powerlifting whenever she competes. See what she has to offer here in her second attempt. Come on, Ariel. Ariel. 
And you know what? She's also getting the beat drop. That's plus five power on that deadlift. This is a video game. Yeah, let's go. Here we go. Oh, and it's just short. I hope she's okay over there. Ooh. And she didn't need to take a second. I hope she's all right. Yeah, that's why those spotters and loaders are there to make sure she's okay. Yeah. And we're gonna need to take a second. Let's get a round of applause for Ariel. She fought real hard on that one. Everyone's here for Ariel. Hoping she's okay. And that is just not what you want to see, especially with somebody who has so much talent like her. We will now start with one minute runoff before the start of yeah. third attempt deadlift. You know what? This lift from Sophia, I bet everybody else just looking for it, is probably also going to be more area after seeing that. That's a scary sight that we never want to see. Yeah. Special, ladies and gentlemen, it's the end of a long day for these lifters. Avengers taking eight maximal attempts. This is where we see who wants I see Ariel at the side. She's talking to spiders walking around her own. From the boys, she's the ladies and the girls, ladies and gentlemen, we I think will be she's going to be okay. I think she's going to be okay, too. Okay too. In under 30 it's eight seconds, super. we will be Here we go. There Attempting it. 97.5 kilos of reality. Let's go. Pounds. There it is. This is where the big entrances are. This is where the hype is. Like I said, we have something special for our listeners. Here is a 97.5 kg attempt for Sophia the Junior. The bar is loaded. for Sophia. Comes out of the smoke. Nice and quiet. Sophia is a junior, 18 to 19 years old, attempting 214.95 pounds. Oh, oh, Sophia! Sophia! Uh, She's just around. barely able to get off the ground. Give her an applause. We go to attempting this is something huge here. Not many people pounds. understand how impressive it could be if Catherine goes 949 today. She is attempting to lift 135 kg, 297.6 pounds. That's going to be crazy for her if she goes 9 for 9. And I know she's here for it because she's getting ready for she there. She's got the bop going. Bar is loaded for Catherine. Walking through the smoke. I can't wait to see those shots on social she's media. She's had a phenomenal day so far. Let's go, Catherine. Hasn't missed a single attempt. She's almost 300. She's on as she goes, attempts to go 9 for 9. 9 for 9 attempt here. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. Because the now command the judges say. Let's see what they say. The lift. The lift is good. It is a 9 for 9. It's a perfect day for Catherine. Have a meet, Catherine. Nine for nine, and you know, strong. I can. 314 pounds for another state record attempt. She's been on state records all day. And the bar is loaded for Ashley. There is 314 pounds on this bar. 142.5 guarantees. Will she be her own? I'm sure she will. Fully decked out in SEC. Let's see, Ashley. Almost 315 pounds on that bar. Oh, she had another 20 kg. It's good. Easy peasy. Ashley comes out of here with three state records. Maybe my fourth. Now we go to 142.5 kilos, 314 pounds. She's literally The bar is loaded. Let's get behind her, ladies and gentlemen. Every single time she did with a state record. Yeah. All right, we have a pole here. Three to 14 pounds. She's taking it again. Yeah. Oh, she reset, centers herself, and gets this lift. She knows what she has to do. Setting a proper brace in her laps for good back stability. 
Come on, Nicole. Get up. No, it's just not there for her today. Pop it up for Nicole. She had a phenomenal day today. She did. I'm glad she came out and like tried it again because no, that. It takes a lot to step on this platform. So for her to take that twice, big up to her. Now this right here is what the people want to see. Bree Schmidt is coming out for 145 kgs. 319.6 pounds on this barbell. I'm so excited for Bray. And there's a little bit of a different attitude shift here. Never mind. She's loaded. Brianna Schmidt for her final lift of the day. She sets in. Looks strong. Looks powerful. Let's go. Get up, Bree! Get up, Bree! Lock it out! She gets the man command, the judges say! Look at this girl! Amazing. I'm so happy for her. Kate Kate nine. Nine. Oh, hard work. The lineup's now. Hard work. The lineup's now. Hard work. The lineup's now. Hard work. The lineup's 341, as you said before. It's Let's a big see what she has. It takes some time. Sets Get it up, Kelly. Oh. Get up, Kelly. Let's hear it for Kelly. Boom, Kelly. Ah, uh, that was so close. Get her a round of applause. That's a good attempt for her. Nice try, Kelly. Wow, we measured her up with 380 pounds, 172.5 kilos on the bar. It's a big weight. Close to 400 pounds. If I know anything about Heather from what I've seen, she got that dog in her. Oh, I love her definite song. Let's go, girls. Bobbin. <laughs> Let's go, Heather. 380 pounds on that bar for Heather. Come on. Oh. Get up, Heather! Lock oh. it out! Oh, oh when she was so close. So close. Never had a pause. So fast off the ground. Wait, 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 wait. This is a state record attempt from my girl Christina. From my dog. She is here. This is going to be a PR for her if she gets it. Wait, let's turn down the song. Pretty close to 160 pounds on body weight. I'm 385 pounds. F up some commas. <laughs> She's effing up the commas on her. Not in me. This is a statement going to tell Christina. Uh, uh, PR. But this is for nine, four, let's go, nine. Let's go, Christina. Let's go, Christina. Oh! 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 Out of Christina. Wait. Do you see what I'm seeing? She definitely had more in that tank. Girl's coming out for 32. She's coming back out. Oh, let's go. Area. And she is dancing. She's excited. Let's go, Ariel. How can you not be a fan of her? She's retaking her last attempt. She's here for it. Come on, Ariel. Well, I'm pushing for you. The heart whipped off the stage last time, but she's back. Come on, Ariel. She has an area. She went back to conventional. She went back to conventional? Unbelievable! Oh, 
is good. Ariel goes back to conventional after sustaining an injury. That is what she usually trains. I cannot believe she literally just switched right on back and got that win. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in this sport in my life. The heart that she showed there, getting injured her last time, and completely switching your strategy and nailing your third death at the time. The heart by Ariel. Wow. Unbelievable. Bonkers. I'm gonna take a sip of water for that one. <laughs> I don't want to roll her. The voice will never be the same. Congratulations to all of our female lifters in Flight A, competing for some of them in the first ever meets, for other than just another day in the books. New records were set, new PRs, and new friends were made. What a meet for them. And I just love a strong female. Like these women are, they came here today and they put through records for New Jersey all over the place. We were slaying records today. And that's what I love about these ladies. They weren't, they weren't here to play. And I don't think these guys are either that are about to come out on this plate. I don't know. I'm looking at some of these openers. It's they came like to, a lot of weight. They came to ball. Some things to look for. Some big blood lifts, including some attempts from Sammy Moore, who we've already seen set a couple of records. Mm -hmm. I got an opportunity to talk to him, and he is 29 years old. This is his second ever meet. Doesn't have a coach, just comes in, and as he described it, it is just another day in the gym. Wow. I can't he, believe he doesn't have a coach and he's that strong. And he is coming in six for six so far. He is such a cool dude. Had an athletic fire in his Yeah. Here is Nathaniel, the 14 year old with 110 pounds. He did say this is his best lift. 242 LBs. Let's go, D. Let's see what I said. we got. That's a good lift. That's a good lift right red. there. I believe he's going to get one red for a lockout. Now that's something that's going to be very easy for him to fix. Because it blew off the ground. Put some weight on that bar. <laughs> Here we go. We have Shivam. Who wants to shout out his parents and also his coach? Well, uh -huh. he gets to talk to. Once again, a really cool young kid. See what he has in him today. His coach actually just competed recently, I think, at the Lift Evil Meet, and he freaking took some state records too. So here we go. He is also a WRPF referee, his coach. So he knows where Shiva needs to, what Shiva needs to do to get those white lights. Well, the deadlift set up. Oh, almost forgot the belt. Almost forgot the belt. Love That's it. a new form though. He swatched it on knee sleeves. Probably doesn't even need the belt. Kids and beats. Yep. And this. Wow. No surprise there. That's the deadlift from Shivam. Here comes Rob Ortiz. It's opener today will be 140 kgs, 308 pounds. That's pretty good. That's just pretty good. That's really good. <laughs> you're right, you're right. He lives in the 67.5 kg class. If you can have a good deadlift in the lower weight classes, you are going to thrive in this sport. Oh, yeah. And I think that's what we're going to see here out of Rob. He's got. Wow. You would have blinked and you would have missed it. Like. He's strong. He's strong. He's strong, strong. From the good words of Spider Powerlifting owner, Mike DeMeo. He's strong. <laughs> Next, we got Matt. Over there, chomping up his hands. Getting ready for 142.5 kg lift. Let's go, Noah. 314 pounds on that bar. Oh, Noah. Noah, ready for this. <laughs> Here's Noah. 
I Curly had his brother. Wow. These openers are flying. Bellas, like lightning. Bellas, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but I feel like the spiders may have put eight plates on that bar. <laughs> Move like it. Big weight, big weight. Speaking. Or maybe it's just lightweight. Speaking of big weights, this is Matt Persia coming up here with 200 kgs. Okay. Or as he's going to call it, lightweight. Lightweight. Ain't not my peanut. <laughs> lightweight, baby. Come on. I love this. 440 pounds. And I'm sure this is probably just the warm up for Matt. Because he's here to do so much more. Leave it all on the platform. That Ursia gets set. Sumo state. Like I said, wow. It's just a warm up for Mr. Matt because that lives. I believe that's going to be on. Oh, yeah. Shoulders are soft at lockout. Shoulders are soft at lockout. Nothing he can't fix and come right back. He's been having a couple of technical errors today, but I know he's got it. He's got it. He's that strong that that's not an issue. I you want me to sing for you? Bar is loaded for Jeff Graham. Yeah, I think they chose that before. So they're talking right now about how the lifters for their third attempts, they get to choose a walkout song if they would like just to get them pumped up for their final deadlift. There's Jeff Graham. 210. Four hundred easy lift. Two pounds and he smoked it. That is a huge lift. He gonna pull some weight. Speaking of pulling weight, the same exact weight on the mark for Brian Hannon. Anything I know about Brian Hannon is that he is a deadlift specialist. Okay. You can tell by those long, lengthy arms he has. And the iron will of heart. Brian is. He's a stunt master. He's also doing open. So he's in the 35 to 39 category. I can very well see a 500 pull out of him today. And it is three white lights. I do just want to add, he may have to lower it a little, little, little slower. A little slower, but he's still got it though, so just pass the notes for next time. Oh, here comes your man, Sammy. Here it is, the man, the myth, the legend, going for his another lead record attempt. This is Sammy Moore with 247.5 kgs. 145.44 pounds. This guy does not even have a coach. He does this all himself. He comes in here and he's literally setting state records on first attempts, people. And it's just another quote unquote workout for him. Anything I met know about him from what I talked to him for? Maybe 35 minutes? Send me more? An absolute savage. Oh, let's see what he has. Sammy Savage. Let's give him that nickname. Love it. Here he is for a state record attempt on deadlift. Big deep yeah, brace. That big brace. Super important for spinal stability. Oh my. Oh my. Wow. Shaking my head because that just moves beautiful. RPE negative 12. <laughs> Uh, 562 pounds. You know what? Mr. Jared. If we were saying well before, Jared has 255 kgs on this bar. 561 pounds. That is a big weight. And I'll tell you, those guys with long curly hair, I know all about them. I lost one. We got that Wow, wow, wow. Let's go, Jared. The sumo stance. Love it. 
Let's go. Wait for it. See, that's the type of lift that makes me think like 6.30. Yeah. Like big, big. That's effortlessly for him. I wonder where he's going to end up at today because if everything keeps moving like that, he's going to have some really high death numbers. I'm not sure if he's acquainted with gravity or not, but I don't know if gravity actually wants to meet Jared or not. Nah, it's definitely turned off. Isaac Newton's worst enemy. Speaking of Isaac Newton's worst enemy, here comes Nathaniel. Nathan back here with 120 cages on this bar. Okay, 10 extra kilos from his last attempt. He's just such a cool kid. He actually was just over here like three minutes ago talking to me. I know, yeah, I saw that. He's so cool to interact with. What a guy. The music is loud. The crowd is going to be louder yeah, for the junior. Just awaiting a loaded bar, and here it is. 255 pounds for Mr. Nathaniel. And he's just tall. He gets to do his belt. There we go. There we go. Set his stance. Blocks that belt. Watch this. 120 kgs. Let's go. Yeah. And a nice soft belt. He knows exactly what he's doing. That was a great lay for Nathan. Yeah, that was amazing. 130 kilos, 286 pounds. Pick up Shivam. 130 kgs on this bar. 286.6 pounds. He was having a day. He's done a great. And you know what? I hope this is a PR for him. Like a, just an overall total PR because he's killing it. He's putting up some big numbers. Especially for a junior. Yes, exactly. So you watch some of these kids and you look at the numbers, you're like, it's a good 25 year old lift. Yeah. He is in the 16 17 category. To be young again. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Let's see this. Some of your notes of the stance, he is wide at the feet, in at the knees. He is using what we call valgus forces, which is a knee cave, to help him groove it up. An interesting approach, but it works super well for him. Uh, it's no good. I am such a biomechanics nerd. Out. He needs to lock his knees and he was called for knees. There you go. Here is Rob Ortiz. Steady, calm, focused, waiting for this bar to be loaded. His opener kilos. So I, I cannot wait to see what he does here. He jumped 10 kilos. So. Absolutely. 150 kg. He's so serious. There's no way he pelts. He is going to make it fly. 10 kilo jump. Light work. Again, so easy for this guy. Look at the judge. Two white, two white. That is a good lift. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. At this jump from Noah Evans from 142.5 to 177.5, taking a page out of my book, a big jump. Yeah, that's this, 391 pounds right there on the bar for this guy. A state record attempt. Wow, wow. Put your name in the record books. Why not Noah Evans? You can find him at Soul Lifts. Wow. I'm excited to watch this young man. He's got this. Noah, go down. Good side ball. And barring any issues, that's a state record. That is Noah amazing. Evans. Good job, Noah. So Noah was in it as a open lifter. He was here for squat mention dead, but he actually moved to a push pull because his squat's gonna go as what he thought it was. So 
That's great that he still came in, did the push pull, and still got a state record. So he's not guest lifting. No, he's in it to win. did a push pull. There we go. And here comes Jeff Graham. And if it looks like anything to me, he's also a deadlift specialist. 220 kgs are on the bar. 485. Oh. It's a big weight. Let's go, Jeff. Show us what you got. Wide stance. Really uses his adductors to his advantage. He's tightening his hand around that bar, getting that slack out. And that one Blue. Three white hits on that. That was a beautifully executed lift. So, despite not failing his first attempt, he is taking a 20 kg jump to 220, the same way on this bar. Oh, wow. I believe it was a soft lockout that got him the no good. He definitely wants to put a big number on this board to get to wherever he needs to get to. So, you know what? Let's see what he ends with. Then. The thing is, even though he failed, it was probably RP2. Yeah. Let's see what Matt has to offer. All right, Matt, throw 20 extra kilos on that bar and let's see what you can do, my guy. 485 pounds. And wow. he rocks it out. I don't know. Oh, oh, he knows what he's doing. Wow. The weight is staying exactly the same with Brian Hannon. But I love this. They're all pushing each other, hitting the same weight, and maybe even trying to compete oh, against each other. It's great right here. These are all men in pretty similar weight categories. So it's super wow. exciting to see. Here's Brian, 220. Mr. Brian taking the same weight, 485 pounds. In other words, four reds on each side. That's awesome. All the way through. And oh, and that was, that was beautiful. I am I am into the sea. What type of jump he makes? Uh oh, Sammy. That's Sammy up. He's jamming it over there to his music. He's in the zone. I don't know if anybody is surprised here, but it's just yet another state record set. Yeah, and it's just, just like 568 pounds. And the best part is he's beating his own one right here. Yeah. I'm saying beating because I know he's going to hit the swing. Oh, yeah, he's going to hit it. 100%. We got 567.7 pounds. Such a fun dude. And look at the quad development. Wow. He's in the zone. It's almost like he's on like a bodybuilding pet bar. Let's go. Oh, Savage Sammy. Getting set. Just once again in normal Nike shoes, so you buy like an outlet. Here we go. The headband is lifter. A conventional deadlifter. Let's oh. go. Wow. wow, that was I think we're going to see a 600 pound pull out of Sammy coming up soon. That was ridiculous. Speaking of ridiculous, this is Jared coming in with a five. 95 pull. Wow, this guy is talking. 600 is not even funny. Day record attempt for Mr. Jared. Team Vottle is his coach. And he's young, too. He is young. Even more 20 to 23. He's a force to be reckoned with, for sure. Let's go. Like a 15 kilo jump. It's a big one. I'm not good at math, but that sounds about right. Yeah. All right, my guy. That big state insane weight. State record attempt for Jerry here. Come on, Jared. We know you got this. A grip. He is a menace. A grip, 
When you got that much rain in the bar and you're pulling steam up close to your hands, you need to see that bar bend. Oh, wow. That is unbelievable. That's pure metal right there. That is. And here we have the third attempt for these listers. The last attempt on this morning session where dreams can be out, PRs are hit, and you implant yourself in the record books. I don't know about you, but when I can beat, like, this is the time where I'm like, all right, let's go ball. Unless I'm trying to get a certain total, I'm going balls to the wall. Like, oh, I know I'm that literally just like... Let's go. When I'm at this point of the meet, I'm probably three to four feet in the air by now. <laughs> Getting myself height. Getting some vertical. I wonder if we have any other hype antics here. Oh, yeah. Kind of like Sammy wedging himself into that barn and squat, bringing it off, hopping it off. Oh, yeah. This is when the back smacks start coming in, the salt start coming. Like, I'm just super pumped. Shout out Mr. Steve Wells Martin, with Skull Smash Let's go. 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 let us go he is doing this for his mom. This one's for you, mama. Let's see what he's got. The future of powerlifting. It's here. The future is here. And that is me. The lift is gone. Hello, the flexes to the crowd. I like that standing ovation you gave him. He deserves it. He definitely does. All right. He's jumping 2.5 kilos. He didn't get his last one, I believe, due to a soft lockout. So I'm sure his coach is over there giving him his little pep talk, telling him what he needs to do technically to get this flip and to get it. Let's see what the junior has in store. Walking out to Carnival by Kanye, the new hit song. Okay. This gets me hyped. I don't know about you. It's getting me hyped right now. Here is Shavam Patel. Let's go, Shivam. Visualize it. Oh, oh, come on, come on, Shivam. And the twist. Yes. Oh. Oh. There was a little bit of softness after he locked out. His knees buckled out, came back in, it looked like to me. It was a great effort. Okay, he had a great, he had a great day. Speaking of great days, here comes Rob Ortiz. Okay. He was two for two on deadlift so far. I think deadlift is a lift. Once again, his sister is coaching him today. The family bond. Okay. The music, calm. Cool, oh, I, like I love this song. Just like how he is walking up to this bar. He is the model figure on the platform. Mm -hmm. He's out here trying to hit 347 pounds. Let's go, Rob. Let's go. Waiting for beat drop. He's waiting for that beat drop. Let's go, Rob. Let's go. 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 let 182.5 kgs. This is a state record attempt. And I think he's just beating his own state record that he just set like two minutes ago. So. And I don't even think he's no. worrying about Noah. No, he hasn't been worrying about all day. This is unbelievable. <laughs> He's not worried about. I think you called him out for not wearing knee sleeves or anything like that. This kid is totally raw. He is as raw as he can. Pause. Let's go, Noah. Let's finish this day raw. He's just calm. It's cool and collected. No belt. A state record attempt. 402 pounds. Let's see what Noah Evans has in store. 
The lift! Definitely <laughs> good. He locked that in. Noah finishes a great day after a little bit of adversity to start. Yeah. You heard it here first. Ryan Hannon coming in for a five plate deadlift attempt. This is 225 kgs. This is going for Brian Cannon. This is going to be a grind of a lifetime. And I think he's, he's got the got this. I, I have all the faith in this guy. Come on. Uh, no good left. And a round of applause to Brian. A great day in the back. A little bit more time, yay. Man, these people are picking a great song. I wonder if Jack Fam is from New York. I mean, I hope so. Maybe the Finland Club, maybe not. I'm not sure, but. Here he is with a 227.5 kg pull. 101 pounds. Some big weight. What's he have for us today? Oh. Get up, Jeff. Stick with it, Jeff. Stick with it, Jeff. Yeah. And the judges say <laughs> the lift is good. Let's go. Let's go. These are the final three deadlifts. Good, Nick. Oh, here's the Jesus. Session, ladies and gentlemen. I think I need to change my underwear, ladies and gentlemen. Matthew. What? What? I'm going to slap my shoes. Wow. Did I hear that right? Wow. Nat Persia is coming up for a 232. Oh, wow. He jumped 12.5 kilos to get to this. But so I knew he was going to definitely hit over 500 today, and he's going to surpass it greatly. This is going to be one of the fastest 512 lifts I've seen in a meet. It's going to be such lightweight for him, like the way this weight has been moving. Ain't nothing but a peanut lightweight, uh. <laughs> It's unbelievable. This guy is unbelievable. It is a good lift. Okay, man. Okay, man. And here comes Savage Sammy Moore going for a perfect 949. This is 272.5 kg. This is an even 600.76 ounces on this bar right now for this 82.5 kilo lifter. And he is doing this. He is doing this for the people of Delaware. He wants this for his home state. Three and a half times body weight. This guy was back there before in one of Five to two. Keisha Cole. Keisha Cole. He is a straight five. Oh, here he is. Oh. Savage Sammy Moore. Going for Let's go, Sammy. What did he do? Beating the juice. It's one day. Four. Nine. This is crazy. What is he This guy's been so calm, cool, and collected all day. He's here for him. We're here for him, for sure. 600 pounds on that bar. Let's go, Travis. And the judges say the lift is no good. He slammed the bar down. You cannot slam the Dropped bar. Dropped it too fast. The and the floor. Floor. the bar is what it's you need to have. Floor. He got a little bit too high for putting it down, this unfortunately. But that was still a crazy lift. Open going to dunk the bed. Get it out. Get the bar to the ground. Open the floor. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? 
Jared is gonna pick him up here. This is Jared with another state record attempt. Our last deadlift of the morning. This is 281 pounds. 628 pounds. Unreal. Three times Give it all. And the bar is loaded for Jared. Come on, Jared. Big boy, Sugar. And what does he have next door? Six, twenty, eight. Come on, come on. Give it all, Jared. Jared. That was such a great attempt for Mr. Jared. And... He's had a day. He's had a day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was the top of the classy room. Hands in the judges. All right, guys. It was so great commentating with you, my guy, for this whole first session. I feel like we're both like going worse now. We're so hyped. These lifters were amazing. So many state records had fallen today. Today was a great day. Wow. I saw so much great talent. People who have been seasoned in the sport. Young kids, 14 years old. Brand new records, lifter. All over the place. We saw camaraderie. We saw heart, effort. And everybody gave their all out on that platform, especially me. My voice is gone. Thank you so much for joining in for our AM session here at WRPF NJ's War Games here at Adelante Barbell Club. In Kennewick, New Jersey. We are going to see you later for the PM session. Yeah, I think it I think it starts at 2 p.m. So we'll see you guys then. Vamanos. Neil lifters from this morning. We will not be doing tabulations until later this afternoon. So females, if we call your name, you will need to come to the score table with a photo ID. Thank you. Stay tuned.
Attention lifters, I need Sammy Moore and Ariel Rissinger to the score tables with your photo ID, please. Ariel and Sammy to the score table with your photo ID. Pops, Pops, can you come to the score table to do drug testing, please?
tas, tas, tas. Attention everyone, if anyone has a red Genesis, please go to the Acme parking lot. Red Genesis, go to the Acme parking lot. E39 SDC, that is the license plate of the Red Genesis. E39 SDC, please go to the Acme parking lot. Thank you.